Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here for show number 2580 here on Twitch. Going to be kicking things off with our 29th run of the FTL 101 Sultan B. We actually have two losses on this ship previously. Uh, it's a pretty tough ship, but it ran into some very tough circumstances our past few runs. Hopefully this one goes a little bit better. Let's head on in and see where the day takes us. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. Before we get started, you're getting called to find people here in chat and your wonderful support. Grab some uh, names for our crew here. Where was I on this? Okay, we're here. Der Bartuk. Got Thanatos. And we got Patho. Feel free to throw out some name suggestions for that fine vessel. Hide the rooms real quick. Real cool looking vessel here. Hey, what's up, Robotic Crow, Senior Bunk? What's up, Nutty Buckeye? Show Not Found, Canaletto, Aviator. What's up, Athene? Hey there, Severity. Welcome back. Rhett Skaj. What's up, Shark? Hey there, Turtles. Cuts Invader, nice to see you, Nallard. Rake and Balto, Rabbit Knife. And all the rest. Hey, Zeta Nagy, thanks for 30 months as well. And Sam Dabber, thanks for 36. Appreciate that. Three years. Awesome. All right, I think I like, I like Lima Bean. That looks good. Very nice. Thank you all for your wonderful creative suggestions. Let's head on into the run. If you're a new to FTL, it is the roguelike game of space exploration. Our goal is to work our way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on our way to a three-phase flagship fight. This sector map right here represents uh, one sector. The lines within will be the rebel fleet pursuit pushing us towards the exit and beyond. Interesting... Uh, layout here kind of looks like we want to dive but i'm not so sure on that so we have two ways we can get to the exit we can get to the exit uh through here we can go through the bottom the top looks a lot more advantageous so we're gonna have to reassess our jumps here uh in a little bit All right, so we start with Double Ion Blast Pike Beam, which is a pretty strong setup early game, but the Zoltan B is behind on shields. It must pay 100 scrap to get its first shield bubble online. That's tough. Let's go. Okay, very lucky not to get a fight there in the asteroid field. That was cool. I guess my big problem with this bottom route is that uh, we're going to lose a jump here. No matter how we look at it, there's not an extra jump to get. We could sneak back up and grab this one, though, and come back. Um, As much as I want to hit stores to find weapons, at the same time, it's like... One, two, three, four, five, six. I kind of want to go one, two, three, four. Let's start by going right here and get a little reveal. Very likely we're only getting one of these two stores. Okay, nice. We got a remote settlement. This means it's guaranteed a double reward if we complete this. Cool. So I'm going to start by doing uh, both ions out here. Normally you stagger these if you want to take down shields, but disabling weapons is pretty important. And then we'll do a, a similar ploy here. We're going to try to hit this again. As long as one hits, we'll get a really nice beam here. Oh yeah. Okay, this should disable that. We're good. 
Yo, Segfall, thanks for 29 months, dude. Thank you so much. Okay, there should be the kill right here. It's a five hit. Uh, piracy could not be forgiven, especially since there's a double reward attached to this event because we had a remote settlement. Remote means they can't jump away, so they, they're going to pay us. One, two, three, four, five. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, and still make it up here. Okay, this is good. Good. Well, let, me, let me actually count this again. How many to the exit right here we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine jumps to the exit. So I go one, two, three, four, five. This is six. Seven, eight, nine, exit. Perfect. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yo, bananas go move. Thanks for 91 months. You're doing it, dude. Oh, boy, this is scary. This is scary. This is scary for a lot of reasons. Mostly that we have no shields in an asteroid field. That's the main scary. Okay, now this goes out, too. What's that going to hit? Okay, we got fire in this room, but uh, otherwise looking okay. Okay, now we're going to do this. Enemy FTL charging, I don't think so. Okay, miss, beautiful. There we go. There we go. Nothing major happened there. Got a breach, whatever. Okay, not piloting, thank you. Sensors is fine. Okay. Ah, uh, good old Dread Pirate Tuco. What's up, man? This guy does have a pretty major offense. Shield costs 100 here, uh, Burn. I'd be more than willing to buy uh, weapons instead. Is the truth. Okay. Please hit. Thank you. Okay, engines are down, so we can keep this keep this down as well. Seems like a good play. Man, they only had one engine. Oh, dude, the resists are wild. They're doing it. Yo, Claudio, thanks for 59 months. Much appreciation. All right, 74 scrap going into the store. What's up? All right, not much here. Uh, that's okay. We don't need anything here. It's just, uh, it was just a stop. We're going to take a little bit of time and fix our ship now. All right, back to your stations. 100 scrap is needed to activate shields here. We've already seen both stores, so we will spend that 100 scrap on shields, and we'll probably save for weapon. Our previous struggles on this ship were a result of not finding weapons, and uh, that is the, the biggest struggle for this ship. you got to get something going 
uh, in addition to your extreme cost for your initial defense. Aid the civilian ship, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, T Recal, thanks for 94 months. Much appreciation, dude. Really appreciate that. Thank you, man. I'm just gonna wait here. Yep, that is uh, indeed. Might get hit by this uh, mini beam here. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, contact civvies. Okay, his double reward is only double eight, but that's still a nice medium scrap reward. Alright, tin scrap off of our first shield, which is a pretty major uh, place to get on this ship. We've only had one bad event inside the asteroid field. Feeling good so far. See what's up. Two fuel for five missiles. Nah. Okay, nearby station. This looks good. I like when there's stations. Could be a weapon. useful. Well, scrap is useful. Also, having access to a shield bubble, very useful. Alright, storage vessel for military goods, even better. This isn't a chance for something, I believe it is a guaranteed drone or weapon. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, there's that. If I disable one of the two weapons here, we're fine. That's actually our first uh, misses of the run. Don't hit weapons, please. Okay, he did. My bad. Eighteen and anti-ship beam drone. Well, it sells for twenty-five, so it's not a not a small pickup. I would have preferred a functioning weapon for our system, but can't have everything. Okay, I'm gonna reject your offer here. Same kind of dealio here. This is two damage, and this is maybe, probably one. When they fire at the same time, this may be an Artemis. This is actually kind of a little bit spoopy. Okay, it was two damage. So we're only going to absorb one more missile. That's, that's what's going to happen. But, since this is down, that's all we need. We can get the disable here. Pull. Yes, I will pledge to do what I can. So this, uh, we're not going to go to the Manus War Camp. We're just going to take the scrap and run. Pirate controlled or Zoltan controlled? I think I'd much prefer pirate controlled right now because there's a chance to get more crew here or better chance to get more crew. All right, so this quest, um, not going to do it. Sorry, quest. We need firebomb or a few other things to make that um, 
a reasonable get. Hmm. Really want to get a chance at all the stores here, so I think I'm going to skip on uh, at least one of these nebulas. There's the manually search the wreckage event, which I'd like to do, but I don't really have the crew to do so. I could pick up two piloting here, but there's so many things I need to buy. Let's see, you want to hit an odd number of nebulas on the way out? Probably do something like this. Come back around this way. Do this here. Okay, these to connect, that's good. Let's start by going here. Intruders on board. Well, this was gonna vent them to the med bay. That's what we do. store showing right now. I guess I can get this on the way back if I want to. Let's do that to leave ourselves a little more wiggle room over here. Gonna head on down, then head back up. I'm gonna be careful on pathing here if I don't get under path. Make sure we're leaving ourselves enough jumps this sector. Might need to take some of these. Yeah, this should be fine. Ooh, that's um quite the ship you got there, dude. I'm gonna reject your offer, though. Could have waited for my O2 to be stabilized before I started this fight, but oh well. Hindsight be 2020. Please hit. Okay. They're going to be a pretty devastating hit on their ship. And then if we hit weapons again, the burst laser 2 should go down, because they only had one power offsetting that. Oh, uh -oh Bunny Wild, thanks for 85 months. Has been a hot minute indeed. Thank you. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, dude. No way. Is this happening right now? Little kitten checking out the bridge. Oh, you're too short for that little kitsy. Oh, you're good. You're good. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. Yeah. Three, four, four and a half. One, two, three, four, four, five. Take overtakes that. Uh, interesting passing here. Let's say that. I'm going to head down here now. Listen here, you little cutes. You're too you're too spicy up there. All right then. Just a little kitty.
Hey, glad you could make it, Relic Killer. Thanks for being here, dude. Ooh, we missed. Okay. Missing's not a great deal here. Can I get a five hit on this one? I sure can. Really should have started on the weapon side. I did not. Good. Did they already repair shields, or did I whiff that? Hmm. Like I whiffed it. Uh, no thanks. Okay, 12 scrap of do. No store showing yet. Where is the store then? Mm -hmm. Okay, another option I'm seeing now. Oh, never mind. I was going to say go up and around. One, two, three, four, four and a half, five, six, seven. Uh, this is looking like it. Kind of want to cut this distress off. I don't have very many good options for distress beacons. I suppose it could just be a crew, but it could also be a crew risk, which I'd have to pass on. Uh, let's take a gamble. It hailed him. Um, no. I'm good. Are you having trouble getting down, Daisy? Don't you dare jump from there. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do it. Yeah, she has another get down. Okay, I think she's fine. Yo, Rick, thanks for six months, man. Much appreciation. We were trying to help her, but she she helped herself. That's later, that's good. Yo, Rick, thanks for a half year and cookie. Thanks for 13 months. Appreciate that. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's gotta be five here. How am I going to do this right now? Could go... One... Two... Two and a half... Three and a half... Four and a half... Five... Six... Seven... Eight... Nine... Okay. That looks pretty good. Cut this jump out. All right, Beam Drone is very troublesome, but we got a little trick we can do here. Uh, I'm going to run my Zoltans into shielding, and this will overcharge versus the Ion. So there's no, there's no risk of this taking down our shields now. And in fact, on that note, just going to grab a very quick uh, weapons train here. Won't take long at all with our current uh, trajectory.
Oh yeah, it's gonna go in no time. Uh, weapons need a target. You can uh, fire like the pike beam on a corner, but you're gonna have to hit at least one room with it. There's no no exceptions. Almost there. 13 more. Uh, we're locked up on that ion. Firing right into the drone. That does happen sometimes. 63 four sixty five all right cool we maintain there and where is this store at, though? I can see all of the remaining white jumps if I do this. What if I want to take this jump? I should consider that since we have not seen the store. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this had to be five right here. One, two, well, maybe one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and then to the exit? That actually makes sense. Uh, we should very likely see a store that's this path. We also get two nebulas here, which is a nice bonus. So we'll go one, two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, exit. Yep, I'm doing it. Gotta be a store back here. Gotta be. Oh boy. Well, I'm sure glad we have one shield now, but... Also spoopy. Hey, at least that hit. Okay, that hit as well. Okay, good. Their weapons are down for now. I'm going to continue slamming the weapons with Ion here. Do not want to be auto-firing either. Fourteen Scrap-a-Doo. What we got going on here? There's a store, I knew it. Had to be. Can we get something good at the store, please? One time? Well, that's not exactly it now, is it? We have for dr drone control. We got defense drone. Defense drone's uh, interesting. It's not, not a weapon, though. I have to think that one of these is a store. Very likely. How about we buy backup battery here? We buy backup battery and then one engine. Okay. Um also gonna buy two fuel. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, 
five exit. And I think one of these three will be a store. Attempt to follow and help them, please. Hell yeah, Phillips. All right, Phillips is real cool because Phillips gives us a fourth crew, which actually gives us an extra power bar here. Because piloting is a non-powered system, so when a Zoltan's there, they are essentially wasting their racial passive. Carrot. Rock's just a really good crew overall to get. Bring, bring it aboard? Okay. So now we got quad border and this going on. Fair enough. How am I going to fix this? All right, for starters, we're doing this. Uh, we're also gonna do this and... I'm gonna bring the pilot off as well. We're gonna open the doors right now and cut the O2. I'm gonna leave the shield room and the weapons room with oxygen in them and the engine as well. Very important here that I turn off the O2 which may seem a little counterintuitive, but if I don't do that, the they have a chance of destroying that in time, which I just do not want. Please hit with that one, thank you. The scary part is this ship also boards, so after uh, a short moment here, if they get the super shield down, they're going to try to board me again. Okay, for whatever reason, they went to the shield room momentarily, but then abandoned. But we're not going to let them do that. Uh, no, no surrender after that, dude. No. I haven't seen that event in a very long time. The uh, trapped cargo, or booby trapped cargo. Okay. So far, this sector has been very nice for scrap. We still yet to have a weapon, though, which is very concerning. This is how uh, Zoltan B runs often die, is they don't find a weapon in time. We're going to attack the Schlebershkum. Uh, crew you get in these early sectors will never have training, Gindy. Not even a possibility. Ooh, that's a nice one to go down. Cool. I had to see that. I think some crew skill can start happening around sector four or five. Okay, no store back here. Intr I'm going to totally save for the uh, the upcoming store. Uh, buying two shields here is also a fine purchase. Oh, I didn't sell that. Fair enough. Um, I guess drone control is something we could buy as an out. Really good scrap run. No weapons so far. 
Another reason to potentially buy two shields on this ship is the ability to get O2 kills with the ions. That's a very tedious process. I think I'd rather lose a couple more runs than have to wait uh, five or six minutes on every ship we fight to get an O2 kill. You're not going anywhere, dude. You're done. Explore it. Okay, free fuel. Nice. <laughs> no! So many offers here. Uncharted, Nebula, Manus Control. Definitely Manus Controlled Sector 3. That's good. Alright, where's my stores at? Now we can potentially run into... Two shield ships, which is tougher on our pike beam. I think I'm going to take a couple jumps looking for a store before I do anything. It is very tempting just to buy the second shield right now. Maybe I should. Yeah, I should do this. I can help you out. I got an ion weapon. Bam! High scrap reward. Aid the civilian ship. There we go. Alright, so on this one, I need to alternate uh, my ions. So we're going to control, left control fire here. Oh yeah, that's right. Two... And when this is exactly halfway, we're going to do uh, three. There, two. Got those engines up just in time. There we go. Okay, missile launcher is still up, but it's only a Lado missile. Oh, we got a little bit of time here. And it appears they have only Mantis repairing over there. The reason I was excited about Mantis Sector 3 is they often have this teleporter, which takes power away from things like weapons. Yo, what's up, civvies? Okay, 140 scrap store. That's a lot of scrap for a store. We also have Beam Drone to sell. Okay. I think I'm going to take this jump as well. Um, just because if there's a store right here, I can get both. Really want to see every store opportunity for potential weapons here. Okay, now here's a ship that is unable to hit us. I'm going to take a looky look here. What kind of crew they got? Okay, they got Engineer Double Manus. Alright, so I'm going to drop the Pike Beam for the moment. Um, I'm going to roll this guy over to Shields. Actually, no. Stay on Engine, sir. And now we're going to do this. We're going to start firing into their Shield. Exactly halfway. And then we'll swap over to O2 here in a second. I may even power the pike beam just to disrupt. Uh, we're going to almost kill this crew, but not quite.
And then I'm hoping they board with the engineer after this, because that'll make this setup a lot easier. Okay, he went back, good. Hoping they board with the engineer and he goes into, like, weapons. Okay, they did board with the engineer. Uh, where's he going? Going here. Get in there right away. We kill him, that's good. And in fact, let's go ahead and swap over to the teleporter here real quick. Let's disable that so it takes longer for them to get back. Oh, he went back anyways, that's fine. A uh, crew will no longer... board us. They only board twice on enemy ships. That's a guarantee. What? Okay, I goofed. Interesting. I had to have gone down to one power at some point. The Zulta must have ran through the shield room. Okay. Put him in sensors real quick. Okay, now that we got some damage going on shields, uh, I'm gonna load up Pike Beam real fast. Um, Baiting what kind of hit I want to do here, I kind of want to clip multiple systems and then swap to O2. I think I'm gonna do Pike Beam like through here and then swap the ions. Let's do this right here and then let's swap the ions to O2. Okay, piloting's down and not being repaired. Good. do one more hit right here. This is the last hurrah. Okay, there is Manus repairing this shield. It's going to take a minute. Oh, he's got an extra point in shields. Interesting. I don't know if we'll get the O2 kill here or not, but we did stack up the, uh, the O2 quite nicely. Had I realized they had a bonus point in shields, I would have handled this a little bit differently, but that's how it be. Oof, that's a lot of misses. Okay, the O2 damage is no longer happening. I think they have level 202, personally. Chance for additional rewards every time you get a crew kill. Nothing to do with the achievement in this case. Hey, there's that. There's that store. Let's go. Okay, whole laser one is certainly a weapon I can use. So I'm going to buy it. How much for two weapon power? 125. That's expensive. this.
Oh, thank you all for the reminders to sell my beam drone. I'm not sure I want to sell it yet. Can't get the full complement of weapons on right now. It's probably the best call just to go all in on weapons here. Also, probably get away with one Ion Blast, but two does some pretty substantial stuff for quite a while. For the moment, buying one weapon is adequate, so then I can go Ion Blast, Whole Laser, Pike Beam. Two Ion Blasts is really good, though. All right, I'm just going to go in all the way here. This is definitely um, an extension, but it improves our offense a lot. All right, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jumps before the exit. So this had to be six. This is seven. Three... Oh no, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, here we go. Okay, triple mantis boarding party. No, not everybody back to systems. Not yet. Uh, Robo Josh, some very general advice for FTL is if you uh, ask yourself the question, can I disable their weapons? And if the answer is yes, always fire at weapons. So dying a lot is normal. And if you're dying on normal a lot, just swap back to easy and try some more stuff out. The main difference between easy and normal is just a little more scrap to work with for the player, which allows for more learning. Attacking weapons, though, should always be the first and foremost priority. Oh. 
Okay, well, I should be able to disable on the first volley here, if this goes well, so let's just do this real fast. Going to auto-fire the ions. No, not two, three. This one hits, they have no shield. That's good. Let's try uh, hitting like this. Double miss. Okay, that's cool. Feel good here. Okay, O2's down. Obviously, I need to buy some power bars. Let's go ahead and buy a power bar right now. Okay, that's good. Five fuel for four missiles. I'll take that trade. Looking good on fuel now. All right, let's attempt to download here. They didn't like that. That's good. Okay, this one has um, an ion two. So that's going to strip our shield like immediately. But I need to work on disabling that quickly. Run over to shields two to protect it. Now that we have that happening, uh, I can drop the whole laser here to bring a second shield up, and we'll be safe. Safe-ish. Okay, it's uh, it's a working system now. We're actually at like a decent power amount. Intruders on board. Oh, must be must be a mana sector. All right, we're just gonna vent this real quick. Um, our FTL is charging, so we should get out before the. Solar flare goes off, and I believe... Okay, they're going to piloting. That's too bad. Oh, hey, you're going to go to medbay now? Oh, no. 
Oh no. Well, he did hang out in No. 2 for a minute. Should be fine here. Just want to make sure I jump before the solar flare goes off. Okay, we're good. Right into the asteroid field. Okay. How about everybody goes back to their systems right now? Let's get this power stuff sorted out. Okay, feeling better already. Ooh, this whole laser is really, uh, really helping. All right, let's go to stress now. In the rock and boom reverse ion field nice augmentation dude all right i should have healed up there but i didn't up uh, i'm gonna sell 50 missiles for 45 scrap what a turnaround beat all right let's go ahead and heal our crew now Okay, Zoltan controlled or abandoned sector. Hmm. Probably go Zoltan controlled. We're actually pretty well equipped for Zoltan controlled uh, with the double ion blast. We get through shields pretty quick. Uh, depends on the situation and the augmentation burned. There's no clear answer to that question. Hey, it's a store. Okay. Um, do I take jumps before the store? No, I take this one, and then we go down over here. Because this is very interesting. This section basically doesn't exist. Any other way to do this? No. Guess I could take this jump first. A good feeling about this jump. Let's check it out. Oh boy, howdy, that's uh scary. Three shields and defense two. Can I even hit this ship? I don't think I can. I think this ship is actually impervious to our current setup. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, to that note, we're just going to try to get away from this one. Going to overcharge my shields as well. On a good note, this ship should not really damage us. Just uh, one we can't. We can't get past it. The defense 2 is very effective at shooting down ion blasts.
Yo, not a spider. Thanks for 71 months. Thanks a lot. Okay, well, to the store then. We have 108 scrap and some sellable stuff. Uh, not all bad here. Charge L, uh, Flak 2. Probably buying Charge Laser here. Not going to go back into the ship because uh, even if I buy the charge laser and bring it online, it's it's okay. Black 2 is not out of the question here, though it's very, very slow. Alright, I guess the next question, if I buy Charge Laser, what am I replacing? Do I go Ion Blast, Ion Blast, Charge Laser, Hole Laser, and hold the Pike Beam for a later moment? Do I sell the Pike Beam? Do I sell the Ion Blast here and go for Laser Pike Beam? It's a tough choice. I do like the idea of... Ion Blast, Ion Blast, Hole Laser, Charge Laser. That's a system that has room to grow. Maybe I just do that and buy a couple power bars. A Flak 2 is 3 power here. I think I will. I'm going to buy the Charge Laser, though I'd prefer not to buy a weapon. I'd like to find one. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to buy 2 power bars so I can have 2 shields in my weapon system. Okay. I definitely have to hold on to the pike beam here because it could still be a piece to the puzzle later on. In fact, if I get hacking, just replacing the ion blast with the pike beam will be highly effective. We just have to survive to that point. Could also maybe kill this ship now, but it could also hurt us pretty bad. So let's just chill on that. Uh, don't need fuel right now, thanks. How many jumps do we have to this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Something like that. I'm going to do that. I want to include the exits. Let's go one, two, three, and then head down. I definitely think we're going to dive here for two extra jumps in this sector. Okay. Tin fuel for two drone parts. Yeah. Not even currently using drum parts. That's 30 scrap value right there. Demand a surrender of their goods. Enemy FTL charging. Alright, they're going to strip our shield pretty quick. Doesn't matter, though. Good. Okay, so we're going to auto-fire here. Oh, oh, my guy's not on weapons, man. What are you doing? Okay, I'm a little bit off on my timing here. It's fine. Okay, that's not what I wanted to have happen. It's going to fire in here now. Okay, good. We at least hit piloting. This will help our ions catch up. No. Okay, we got a breach in there as well. I think they have a system repair drone here, is my current feeling. The fire into engines, actually. As you can see, our weapons are functioning at a much higher level right now. That's better. Alright, no store in sight. 
So maybe down here. Going to look. Make sure everybody's in the right position. Hello. All right, we got some work to do. I'm actually going to leave the O2 out of the uh, piloting right now, too. So the closest room to them with oxygen is going to be the med bay. Now I'll close the doors now that they're in there. hit please am I really that far off on the timing okay I was that's good that's good okay they are gonna come board now but we have the ability to keep our shields online okay you went right in the med bay that's fine let's do a one-on-one -on -one in here we'll get two shields up the shields are semi permanently down now I'm just going to fire the single charge in. Nice. Okay, the engineer that was repairing this just went to the med bay because he got hammered. I mistimed my ions here a little bit. They should have been staggered uh, evenly, and they were offset a bit. Just pointing out the room for improvement. Largest room in the world. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, one, two. Three, four, five. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And even if there was a mistake here, we still have this jump to go to. Gonna give ourselves the best chance for a store here. But first, let's let our O2 stabilize. Hey, losing his tricks. Glad this is a place you can come to relax after your work day. Cheers. Hmm. You come to a quiet part of Zoltan space and encounter an ancient Zoltan wise man who has managed to harness the power of a spatial rift, but seems to have been driven completely mad by the power. Choose your doom, he demands. It's all part of a day's work. I think we're going to take Mantis here. The ship is rather non-threatening. The damage potential's there, but we should uh, disable them before there's any major threat. Board now, that's fine. These guys got some jukes, man. I'm actually going to go off of piloting right now. I'm going to leave the room, leave the room with him, put him in there and this way. Different guy on piloting, but we're tanking now. This hasn't gone back online. I don't have too much worries here. I can hold. Do this real fast. There we go.
Okay, we got Breach in there. Nice. I'm going to try one play here, which is whole laser to O2. If we get like a Breach or double Breach, we can possibly get a crew kill. Okay, that did happen. Let's go check out what's happening over there now. How are they feeling? Okay, there's no O2 in here. No O2 in here now either. Okay, we also got a breach and they have level three? No. For real? How about I fire one laser and then depower here? Okay, there we go. We're good. We've officially got a crew kill on this ship. He may get that breach finished, but he's not going to repair the system. There's no way. Hey, thanks a lot for that continuation, Robo Josh. Once again, much appreciation for everybody and the time you're choosing to spend here. Hey, our first crew kill of this run. There's certainly a couple other we could have gotten, but they would have been very time consuming, so we didn't. Cool, we got a sick double reward there. I don't even know if the uh, crew kill mattered for that event, but we got it. I am saving my scrap right now for, <laughs> I don't know, man. I think, I think hacking is what we need right now. This ship should be a very similar situation. I'm gonna... I'm going to hit here. I'm going to hope we get an O2 hit with the whole laser. It kind of depends on what kind of bomb this is. Let's see what's going on over here. Looking like Ion Bomb right now. Yeah. Okay, this ship also has a an engineer, so it's just really unlikely we're going to get it. We're just going to do this. I'm uh, going to make him leave. Drop the O2 for a second. There we go. Now, we could have outweighed the board here, but since it's not a totally safe event, I am less likely to do that. Ion Bomb is four Ion damage, and that damage is doubled versus Zoltan Shields. Yep. Alright, excuse me for just one sec. I'm just going to use the restroom real fast before we take this next jump.
All right, thank you for your patience during that very uh, brief intermission there. Uh, I'm going to take this jump at least and check for store back here. And then I might just be buying three shield uh, in this situation. Another option is to buy one more weapon to have ion blast, four lasers, pike beam. That's a pretty efficient volley versus three shield ships. The issue we're going to run into soon is if a ship has cloaking in it, then this ion blast thing is just not functioning correctly. All right, this ship's a little scary. Okay, we're being boarded by Mantis and Rock 2. Yikes. We sacrifice piloting here. Hmm. No, I don't. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and collapse into the shield room. I'm going to vent everything but the shields. I'm actually going to cut my O2 right now. Already done. Uh, I do have the power here to replenish the weapons. Good. Okay, now we're going to close the doors and turn the O2 back on. I have zero dodge, that is fair. Okay, let's put the rock on the mantis here so he doesn't die right away. Yo, -ho, we just got a resist from our Zoltan shield, a reverse ion shield. Okay, well that's down now. Okay, good. The big laser is down. That was my main concern. Whew. Eerie. Okay, we do have shields overcharged here, so it should be fine. I'm going to try one thing here. I'm going to try to go a uh, whole laser into the O2. Okay, no breach. Needs to go back down as well. Uh-oh. They still have big lasers online. I'm actually going to swap over here real quick. I don't want to get hit by this. Okay, we're good now. Yeah, our resists were real cool there, man. Okay, they have an engineer over there repairing 100%. Come on now. Okay, I'm going to go back to systems here. i got to drop this power real quick so we don't lose it. Okay, looking good. Add two. Unbelievable, dude. Okay, good. We got enough up. Yeah, my initial temptation on that fight was to uh, pull them into medbay, but if I did that, we would not have the person on piloting, and we needed the shield overcharge for an additional layer of safety. Still no store. Okay. Well, I'd really like to have scrap for the next store to buy hacking, or potentially just upgrade our weapons here, but... Feeling like three shields and engines is making uh, a lot more sense very quickly. Hmm. I do have system repair and verse ion to sell. That's 37 scrap. This is 30 right here as well. So that's 67. I can leave myself in a range of hacking. I'd be happy. I don't know. I think I meant to take another couple jumps here. 
I will have to upgrade before the dive, but uh, what if there's a mystery store back here? What if? Okay, this one has drones. Okay, it's not too bad. Not good. If I can disable drones here, we're totally safe. Okay, we got the combat drone down. That was the bigger of the concern. Combat drone can uh, dip our shield bubbles. Not shielding, please. Thanks. can always overcharge shields here, too, if I need to. Boy, howdy, they got some dodge. Okay, maybe I consider a piloting hit here. I'm going to run him over to shields for safety, just in case that ion hits there. We're actually totally safe in this situation. Now let's go here. There we go. Feeling better already. Ha <laughs> ha, move that Zoltan just in time. Okay, I am a little bit confused right now because the ion bomb hit our shields, but only we still have two bubbles. Going into that, I felt like we go down to one shield bubble because we only have one overcharged. We got to resist, didn't we, from the uh, reverse ion field? Okay. It's all making sense now. Yo, MSO Infinite, thank you so much for four months of support. Appreciate that continuation very much. Let me say a huge and sincere thank you to everybody that does subscribe and resubscribe with Twitch Prime. Huge part of why we're full time going on 10 years now here on the site. Thank you. Yeah, Reverse Ion Field is really hard to buy at the store for its cost, but it is a very fantastic augmentation. I'm spending the scrap because I have enough stuff to sell over. Okay, Reverse Ion Field can also work here. Uh, a place that's good. Also, a really freaking nice time to have what we have. Okay, let's... Oh, we still have shields up. It's all good. Yo, Block is dying. Thanks for 78 months. Thank you. Okay, looking good. Dude, we resisted the Ion Pulse there. So good. I'm just stacking on shields right now so they stay down. Okay, that happened. Um, what do I want to hit here? Maybe I hit shields now. Ah, uh, weapons. Weapons all day. Three fuel, one drone part, 18 scrap is not a bad offer. But no. Okay, weapons stayed up. Good. Yeah, I am officially 10 years a Twitch partner now, though uh, I mean, full-time 10 years is January 6th of next year. 
Um. Okay, here we go. Four engines. Still leaves us within the range to buy hacking. Uh, I'm going to buy four engines right now because uh, it's just a smart thing to do. Gives us better diving potential and also gives us another layer of safety. Yo, Peter Draws. Great to see you, man. We'll be doing our seventh annual Winter Fragments this year. Uh, December 1st through 31st and as a special event since we do have our 10 year full time mark uh, coming up we'll have some incentives throughout the month to uh, add more time onto our winter fragments up to about a week or so so we're going to add an extra week uh, with some incentives to celebrate that milestone looking, looking forward to that okay good there's fire happening that's very important Okay, the ASB miss. This sector has had a lot of stuff go our way. So this winter fragments may be a little closer to 38 days. Looking forward to that. Uh, okay, I can jump now. Let's go. Zoltan Homeworlds. Okay. All right, let's just vent these guys to the med bay, I guess. Good. a store here in the Zoltan homeworlds and do we have a dive beacon not really that's an awkward layout not so bad if we swing back up this way so we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go down and then come back up so we're gonna hit two two uh storms right here Yo, Chrysan SG, thank you so much for making it official with Prime, dude. Appreciate that a lot. Blockenstein, thanks for 78, six and a half years. Me and the fam doing well indeed. Thank you for asking. Let's get over here. We're going to save up for our store. We're going to get hacking at the store. Secure the fuel supply. They got five laser beams. That's a lot. Okay, we do have a small problem here, and that is if I start ioning their uh, shields, they're going to bring other weapons online, but we don't have a choice here. I gotta... Gotta get done. hitting now and I just get a nice disable here our battery is about to run out we're gonna have one shield online that's fair this is a little suspect okay we're fine ok 
could just tell there that it was going to run out right about the time that was going to happen. We good, we good. 18 scramp a do, I'll take it. Yo, Johnny Lee, thanks for 20 consecutive months. Glad you could be here for the game you found the channel on. Awesome, man. Okay, so for this sector layout, if I'm going to take one nebula, I might as well take two. There's no extra jumps for only taking one. Uh, Gus King, it's all very dependent on where the exit beacon is, but yes, the where the fleet pursuit starts is consistent in between runs. The fleet always moves at the same pace. Okay, no store down here. Uh, jump locations are very randomized, yeah. Okay, um, I can hit this ship, it's just very difficult. We'll see, we'll see. I think I have to go here. So what I hope on this fight is that we just eventually take out some of the drones. So I have to wonder if it's worth sticking in here. Probably is. Okay, please explode them. Okay, it did explode. It's going to take a hot minute here before those are back online. Come on, man. So, this is definitely weird. Okay, we managed to hit at least. get hit there. Let's try this. I mean, really, we can chip the ship down very slowly. Looks like we're going to try to do here. Okay, there is a store on the next jump. Good to know. Nice. So they will eventually run out of drone parts, which is my hope.
Okay, I need at least an ion to hit for this to work. Okay, we got another drone part down. Beautiful. Very interesting how he basically fought the same ship in Sector 4 and Sector 5, and this one we're barely capable of defeating. Yep, defense two is not a jokey thing. It is, uh, it's a real contender. Okay, blow it up, blow it up. 50% chance every time Ion hits a drone to blow it up. Okay, not quite on that one. I feel like at this point I'm kind of in for the long haul, huh? Without reverse ion field, this is actually uh, not going to work. Okay, there's one more drone down. They really got to be getting low or out of drone parts here soon. Nice. They don't have more drone parts, so if I disable the defense 2, the fight's over. They are officially out of parts. Good. They also haven't tried to run yet, which makes me think they're not going to. They have the old sunk cost fallacy on this fight. There we go. Wrong one, but there we go. was a rather unique opportunity to train too. Yo, Matt the Dam, thanks for 40 months. Appreciate that big 4 0. Thank you, dude.
Man, they are dodging it up right now. There we go. Okay, no more defense drone two. We finally, we finally won it out. Here we go. Dude, I hit two of their lasers with my lasers. That was awesome. There we go. There we go. Enjoy your alert, Garlic. Okay, I'm gonna hit the store now. It's really hacking we're looking for, and hitting the store now gives us more chance to get another one later. By golly, we found it. Okay, there's hacking. All right, I have 16 hacking parts. And now I really think what I should do is I should do this instead. Four lasers plus hacking is good. Okay, I'm going to sell system repair for sure. I'm semi-debating keeping one ion blast because versus like the flagship fight, having that one ion blast to strip the shield could be really useful. Just generally good in this sector as well for stripping Zoltan shield. Yo, McDuncan, thanks for 37 months, three years and climbing. My man. There's no dive happening here. So we got one, two, three, four, five jumps for the exit. One, two, three, four, five, something like that. There might be another store um, upcoming. Okay, there's no way I can keep this a second ion blast. Uh, no matter how I want to shuffle it, this isn't going to happen. I can wait to sell the reverse ion field to our next store. Um, let's go ahead and buy three repair here, and I do not need fuel. Wow. Uh, believe it or not, double ion field completely protects you from ions. It's either that or 75% chance to resist. That's a bit much there. Um, okay. Where are we at for power consumption? One thing I need to snap up right now is two hacking. Uh, two hacking lets us get into stripping three shields completely, so we can have pike beam plus four lasers on a particular target. Okay. Feeling a lot better now that we picked up hacking. Uh, certainly not fixed yet, but feeling better. Alright, this is a little devastating, the double ion blast. Need to fix that. Okay, so I'm going to start right here. I'm going to slap down hacking. Yeah, there goes our Zoltan shield right there. All right. Why did I start my hack right there? Dang it, I did it too soon. Way too soon, in fact. Noticed uh, lately people have had a weird obsession with the speed of people's chats. Not just my chat, other chats too. Wonder where that's coming from. Like, I know my chat has lulls sometimes, but I've also curated an environment where people come to relax and chill, and 
as it turns out, I'm not the most important thing in every person's life that watches, so. I appreciate those that do chat, but I also appreciate those that lurk. I just feel like it sets a really weird tone if you come into somebody's chat and, like, question how fast it is or something. I don't think that ever ends well. Certainly not personally offended, just uh, I'm not going to allow that because it never goes anywhere good. Okay, they're going to cloak again. Um, If I fire right now, am I screwed? Let's start our hack here. Uh-oh. Please let me fire the bike beam. Thank you. Ooh, their weapons are all still up. Mercy. Hey, the game had mercy. I just think personally, having had a channel for 10 years now, it's a very weird expectation to expect people to chat. Like... That seems kind of outrageous, to be honest. I don't know. That's me. Lurkers literally are the lifeblood of Twitch, that's right. I guess for me, the fact that people watch it all is what I'm grateful for. Any other interactions or questions or stuff like that, it's all great. I appreciate that too, but to expect more than people just watching is, I believe, a failure of mindset. I love lurkers. Yeah, exactly, Freya. So Freya says, let me lurk in peace. That's why I don't allow the chat speed conversation, because it makes people feel defensive about uh, having to chat or whatever, or having to tell people, oh, we have lurkers here. It's just whack. And look at just this conversation, how many people came out of lurking. So I guess that's case in point. Get back in your hole, lurkers. Did I hit the O2 with the this? No, I'm not doing this in an Ion Storm. There's no way. Um, okay, I can only get these two jumps. There's no other way around it. Is there something I need to buy right now? There's not. I was just curious what you guys thought, because I've seen that uh, not just in my chat, but also in other chats, too. And it's kind of like something that hasn't existed for a long time and has all of a sudden made this resurgence. Just interesting. Damn, this is scary. How am I gonna get past this? This, if it does the ion damage, will take four of the five bars I have. How am I gonna pull this off? Yeah, a couple more power bars would be pretty strong here. I probably should buy those. But the potential to buy, like... Cloaking would be really big. You know, that could have something to do with it. Uh, Quantum Beep, the release of animated emotes on more spammy channels. Maybe made uh, a little more... Uh, like you said, party atmosphere, sure.
think probably also the lack of memes here uh, is a contributing factor. Damn, this, this ship is like a brain buster right now. It really rides on what this missile is, because these three things together aren't all that threatening. I cannot, however, hack until the shields are down. Okay, I'm dropping shield guy here. I'm going to do this real quick. I'm actually going to three on two and swap some crew around. These two to start. While we're on stream subjects, I just want to talk about uh, memes real quick. Um... Never had a very meme -y channel. Uh, that's definitely by design. Um, I've actually been thinking about memes a lot lately, uh, even though I'm not a memer myself. I was thinking about what it was or what it is about memes and why I don't allow them, because it's good to question yourself. Um, trying to think how to say this. Well, give me a minute to articulate. Okay, what am I doing now? For for memes for me, it's not it's not about not enjoying memes. I certainly do. And it's not really about um, spam or anything like that. It's about the experiences I've had online, uh, not just in this community but other communities. Uh, discords and stuff. I'm definitely not anti-meme, but everywhere that memes exist, they become increasingly edgy and offensive uh, to the point that they become inappropriate. I guess as a person, I don't like that edginess uh, as far as humor goes based on my own personal experiences, not just with memes, but in life as well. Um, so it's like a slippery slope where memes go from being very funny to being a little bit edgy to then being racist or uh, offensive to people. And I think it's very, uh, very much human nature to push limits. So memes are another format where human behavior repeats itself in that way so while memes can be very funny and they can be uh, hilarious to be honest sometimes they just aren't uh, because of that behavior and uh, also on a very personal note um, i spend almost all my computer time streaming i'm not uh, i'm not on social media i'm not browsing uh, Reddit and stuff like that. So the idea that is part of my job, I would have to go on social media to figure out which memes are appropriate and which aren't. It just isn't happening. So that's just, I think, more for me personally, how I spend my time off stream. Um, I'm not immersing myself in meme culture, so it's very hard for me to get a, a, a read on the pulse of what's actually happening as far as those go so i don't know which memes are appropriate uh which ones are edgy i don't know which ones are offensive they're all just uh memes right i hope i articulated that okay and it's certainly not a judgment on memes or other people's content or places that enjoy memeing it up it just isn't me that's not where i'm at right now But I think there's an expectation for broadcasters, uh, myself included. People think that because I'm a broadcaster and I stream online, 
that I'm also on social media all the time or I'm spending all this time on Discord and voice calls and things like that. And that's just not a reality for me personally. That certainly has its ups and downs as an entertainer, but uh, that's not a formative part of my content or my life. Which again is a no judgment on how anybody else spends their time, just that's where I'm at right now. Yo, Matt Ledge, thanks for four months. Appreciate that Lurk Man Zap Slap. Thanks for 25 as well. Yeah, guys, it's something I don't talk about very often. I don't even use a phone off stream. Like, I have a phone. It's it's literally just like a workout timer for me. I'm not texting or calling people or doing any of that stuff. Uh, my life is very simple right now, and I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> All right, let me think about this fight again for a second. Thank you for um, bearing with me there while I talked about that. Felt good to talk about. Yeah, Round Edge, I do have a phone. My point is I don't use my phone. I don't browse the internet on my phone. I don't send text on my phone. I have my phone for things like making appointments or using it as a workout timer. Okay, two options left on this fight. I can hack shields or I can hack weapons. I really feel more comfortable hacking weapons here, and I'm going to do that. Okay. Okay, everything's up now. Here we go. Please hit strip shields. Thank you. All right, now we're cooking with mayonnaise. Got him. Again, just to recap, I just want to reiterate one more time that the way I run my broadcast or live my life or whatever is uh, not a reflection on anybody else's choices or decisions. I've had a lot of different mindsets and uh, in my life and made a lot of different mistakes in different uh, different ways. And I'm certainly not perfect right now. Just another bozo in the bus, I am. Uh, let's let our O2 stabilize here and then we'll jump away. I have 135 scrap. I think it'd be very wise right now to buy three power bars. Let's do it. Let's do it. I have power to power things. Yo, Potato P, thanks for six months. Appreciate that half year, man. Okay, Ion 2, double missile launcher. Hmm. Okay, I need to hack shielding. You could tell the confidence in my voice as I said that. Real confident in my choice. Yes, resist those. If I can get a couple resists here, we can absorb enough um, missiles to make this fight not so painful. Okay, good. They have an Artemis and they have... Yikes. They have Artemis and they have Leto. Whew, okay. Looks like the Leto's up. Yeah, the Leto's still up. That's fine. Those three resists were huge. 
I was gonna say, as long as that doesn't hit weapons, we're in the clear here. We just need two hits, that's guaranteed right now. A uh, couple differences, uh, Jaysman. The Artemis does two damage and fires a little bit slower. Uh, it's very hard to tell the difference between Leto and Artemis on the enemy ship, though there are some small visual differences. There's also, I believe, wings on the missile of the Artemis as it fires out. Healing burst and a weapon. Nice. Let's go to the civilian sector right now. Okay, uh, stores right here. I would really love to pick up cloaking right now. Do I have enough to sell to pick up cloaking? I have heal bomb, anti drone, and reverse ion field. So I could buy hacking or buy cloaking right now at the store if I sold stuff. Uh, is it enough to sell anti combat drone and heal bomb? Heal bomb sells for 20. <laughs> or 17. I think it's 20, this one's 17. So that'd be an additional 37 scrap. That would be enough. If it was only 17, would that be enough still? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Alright, let's check this out then. Okay, that's not cloaking, but some stuff. You know what? Small Bomb is really good here. I think I'm in on Small Bomb right now. Selling Anti-Drone. I'm going to sell the Heal Bomb too. Okay, Heal Bomb was 20. I'm going to keep the Reverse Ion Field. It's been putting in work this run. Um, the reason I like Small Bomb is it's a guaranteed 2 damage on a single system, so in the case that I need to hack, like, piloting, I can get extra damage in. It's also just a nice little oh crap button. If things go wrong, you at least have a 2 damage weapon. The problem I see with buying uh, Small Bomb, though, is that it removes my ability to escalate the weapon system. We're basically done, if that's the case. Mind Control, also strong here. Uh, there's also potentially trading the whole laser for the charge laser. You know, I think I might go this way. I might sell the Ion Blast and purchase the Charge Laser. And then we can, at, at the end of the game, maybe work towards an 8 power weapon system. Charge Laser, Charge Laser, Hole Laser, 1 Pike Beam. Uh, that'd be good for 2 volley kill on the enemy flagship. So with 4 crew here, I think we're going to sell Ion Blast, pick up Charge Laser, which improves our system a little bit right now. And then... Buy Mind Control as well. Mind Control offsets the four crew, and on enemy ships, we can Mind Control their pilot after hacking shields have a more consistent volley out. This also leaves us the opportunity to use six lasers if we want to do that instead of Pike Beam, because six lasers will be the right choice in some cases. All right. It's going to be a hot minute before we have that online. Feel good about the mind control purchase, and I should really just try to save up for um, cloaking now. You want to hand her to me? Okay, here we go.
What a good little kidders. She's been sleeping right next to my head. She, in fact, wedged herself under my pillow last night. What a cutie kitty. Yeah, we're trying to hold her a little bit each day. Not too much, though. Okay, looking at this map, I think we may have created a problem for ourselves in that I might need to go back down this way to cut over. Count our jumps here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 jumps to the exit. But this one, there's nothing in this one, so it's actually 9. This needs to be 8, 7, 6, 1, 2... Yeah, okay, I gotta go back this way. If I don't go this way, we're gonna miss out on some jumps. Quest marker added to the map. Can I make this? <laughs> Maybe? Okay, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this needs to be eight. One, two, three, four, five. There'll be six, seven, eight. Um, hold up, hold up. Okay, one more note here that this jump is more than halfway past the beacon. So we can get this jump for three. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, one less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half, eight and a half. Boom, boom. No, that's eight and a half. So we need to be on seven and a half. One, two, three, four. What about we head up here? I want to hit this jump. If there's a store up here, that really changes what I want to do. Um, try this. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half, eight and a half. No. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half, seven and a half. There it is. Okay, let's jump first, though. Yo, Bogus, thanks for making it official with Prime. Thank you so much. Okay. Going to be our first uh, full hit here. Yeah, Daisy's uh, a whopping 15 weeks old. Probably 16 now. All right, so we can go here, and then we can fire in fully. And I'm just going to slice and dice across this way, too. That's a good feel. Store down here. Man, that really improved the effectiveness of our system, man. Ah. <sighs> Still plenty of ways this can fail, but I'm feeling a lot better. I mean, I feel very good having this ship done. This is the only ship I've had two losses on for our FTL 101. And not surprised, it's a very difficult vessel.
Okay, fire in the sensors. I'm actually going to drop my pilot for just a second to get to that. And I'm just going to wait for my hack as well, because the hack will guarantee the kill on the next volley, which should get us out of here in time. I think the reverse uh, ion field pickup was actually the difference between winning and losing this run. It's been that good. And it was just something we found. Okay, we're going to go here and check if a store is back here. If it is, I may consider not diving. Or not taking this quest. Rather. One, two, three, four, five, and this is six. So one, two, three, four, five and a half. Okay, that's good. Ah, uh, yes, Daisy's newest nickname, Doodle Dip. A classic. Okay, no store. All right, then. Yeah, not quite on phase one, Claudu, because the starting weapon setup is disrupted by cloaking. But you're right that it has one of the strongest starting weapon setups, but it's also very weak to not finding weapons. Everything goes well until you have any form of delay on your weapon system. Weapons get damaged, uh, they have cloaking, etc. Okay, we're intervening and defending the outpost. That's us. One of my favorite early starts on Zoltan B, which often results in a loss, is getting a third Ion 1. That's a cool time. That's a big old missile I'd like not to get hit by. The ship starts with double Ion Blast 1. Pike Beam. Is very good. Okay, good. Now we're safe-ish. Hey, fish to the face. Thanks for 36 months. Appreciate that three years. Three years and climbing. Whoo! 94 scrap reward and a store with a possible follow-up store. Is it my birth miss? Might be. Dude, there's no uh, cloaking here. It's cool. Ooh, automated reloader. No, not quite, not quite. I'm not going to buy a repair here like I normally would because this is a patch em up event. So it's very possible that there's going to be a repair associated with this. I could also just buy my weapons online right now and have six lasers pike beam. Tempting. Frankly, three hacking is smarter. We haven't seen a four shield ship yet, which is fortunate. Yo, my dude, what's happening? All right, this this is big time tempting. Big time. That's a big slam of jamma. The downside to heavy laser 2 is that No, cloaking is not GG. We still have to survive. It definitely helps, though. Okay, the problem with uh, Whole Laser 2 is that we have four two-power weapons, and we have a maximum of eight power. So we're basically saying if we buy the Whole Laser 2 here, or Heavy Laser 2, that 
we're dropping two weapons to power it. That's tough. So I think that's a no. This is definitely a yes, though. Had we gone the small bomb route, the uh, he the heavy laser would be more tempting. We'd also have less scrap right now. I think the smartest thing I can do right now is get three hacking and then but it's by power. Spy power. We'll get this weapon online late sector seven, maybe sector eight. If I run into a four shield ship, I need three hacking. I'm gonna buy this as a safety measure and then just buy a power bar. Okay. Now we're going to buy level 2 backup battery. The nice thing about picking up cloaking here is basically the rest of the scrap that we get for this run, we can just put right into upgrading the ship. We've completed the three subsystems, we've completed our weapons system as well. There's no mind control that's going to happen here. All right, I'm going to cloak that. Extend our Zoltan shield out. That's nice. Yeah, they got the missile launcher up, but they got some problems. Intervene and defend the outpost. Outpost means guaranteed double reward. Love to see it. Do I hack shields here? I do. Hey, what's up, Qualities? Good evening, Shadowfan. Okay, gonna go here. A big missile launcher went down. I'll cloak that. It's hoping for a little bit better, but it's uh it's reasonable. The ship's gonna have some dodge. Only a Lato hitting us right now. Ion also missed. Sick. Sick. Okay, they got level three piloting. Fair. And we are very, very lucky right now. Great dodges. 26 and 44. Okay, I'm going to buy level 2 backup battery, just like we talked about. And I'm going to buy one more power bar. Okay. Now we can have everything powered as long as the backup battery is online. So we can power the mind control and the hacking with temporary power. In fact, I'm overpowered one right now. Let's go ahead and sneak in a value level 202 before I forget about that upgrade. I'm going to give you guys 15 missiles. You're going to repair my hull and give us scrap. Nice. Is 
demand a surrender of their goods. It's what we do. All right, this ship's got some stuff going on. Let's go ahead and send a hacking part out at the shielding. All right, this shot's almost straight on. I don't know if it's going to hit or not. Okay, now that both of them have been fired, we're going to uh, depower and then repower. They do have system repair drone. Fair. So the piping is going to really mess up their ability to run away. All right, now they're going to leave piloting. And I think I'm going to go into shielding here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they chose to keep these online instead of the system repair. Cool play, man. Cool play. Wow. Okay. That is a really pristine find. I'm going to bring that online right frickin' now. Got him. Well, that's, a, that's a much cheaper way to upgrade our offense than we had, and it's on a much quicker timer, and it does two damage for hit, so uh, we're trading uh, weapons in a very nice way. Do I go civilian sector or do I go engine controlled here? I don't have an engineer to capitalize on engine controlled. I actually think civilian sector looks better. Uh, it's There's only two stores in civilian sector instead of three for engine controlled. But what am I going to buy right now? I just want to sell my whole laser and improve. Uh, getting a fifth crew would be maybe a purchase here. Maybe. We could certainly go engineer sector and then try to buy an engineer. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'd be definitely willing to buy a crew right now. Uh, the main difference between whole laser one and heavy laser one is that whole laser one uh, takes longer to fire and gives two projectiles. So the damage and breach chance is essentially the same between the two weapons. So heavy laser one for the purposes of a complete offense, is a much more efficient whole laser one. So, whole laser one has some benefits early game, right? Because it does more projectiles. But 8 seconds firing in compared to the 14 of the whole laser. It's a big difference. Secure it. Bam! Defense drone. Let me sell it. Let me sell it. My main goal here in the NG sector is to reveal all the beacons, because there's three stores here. We don't need to hit all three. The biggie boy. This is a ship I could probably consider not using a hacking part on. Yeah, I think I'm going to do exactly that. I can mind control the pilot and reasonably get a good hit here. That did not work out as well as I would have liked. Slap a weapon, weapon hack on. This will reduce their uh, ability to repair. Wow, they just disabled that. Scary, man. Okay, cool. When they fire, though, I can cloak. So that's nice. Well, safe to say this did not work out how I wanted. Oh, the misses. What have I done?
I'm gonna have mind control back up here in a second. That's gonna help. Okay. They're cloaking before they fire this, which is turning out to be a very beneficial timing for us. I certainly should have just hacked on this fight. Call it how it is. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Gonna wait for my full volleys, my best chance to kill. Is up refugees, double reward, nice. There's a store, let's go. No, we definitely should have used the hacking part. We weren't punished for it, but there was ways we could have taken damage there. Okay, now we can sell the uh, whole laser and defense drone. No crew for sale here. Fair enough. Uh, Jaguar, the things that disabled the system was a small bomb, which does not do whole damage. It only does system damage. So you're right. Most of the time when a system goes down, there is damage attached. But for teleporting bombs, that is no longer the case. Oh, what the hell? I was going to save here, I guess. One cool note about this run, we've only bought two fuel the entire run. Pretty exceptional. Yo, thanks, dude. Free stuff in an NG sector? Must be NG sector. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I guess we're just going to round out our sector now. There should be stores down there. Should be. Ah, uh, good old worn down but hungry pirate. How you been? A little late on my hack there. Are right, we gonna start with the pike beam this time? Because that's gonna disrupt the heck out of them. Go in here. Okay, missile launcher's down. I'll go in here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm probably gonna sell this scrap recovery arm at the next store, but for now. It's not going to hurt anything. That's basically 65 scrap. Too late for scrap recovery to have any functional output here, but still good. Still good. Okay, 252 is a little crazy. Let's go ahead and buy this and this by level 2 piloting as well. Very few reasons in FTL you should have that much scrap on hand, especially. If you've already got all three subsystems, that's uh, that's playing a dangerous game. Mm, I did get this at the perfect time, but Ooh, that was close. Definitely cloaking the flak here, huh? 
All right, if I do a hit like this, is that going to pull the pilot off? It does. Good. Do this again. Oh, yeah. If anybody goes back on piloting, I'm going to mind control. Seems like they're going to be mega dead, though. I am very surprised there's no store yet. Uh, let's attack the ship. Okay. My stomach just growled something fierce. I'm losing weight right now, I'll tell you what. That was beautiful. Yo, saying to thanks for 79 months. One more for that big eight zero and alien wizard. Thanks for five months as well. Thank you, dude. I'll wait. I'll wait. Nobody's repairing piloting, so this next hit's guaranteed to kill. If I just wait a second, just give it a minute. Fire beam. Fire beam. Where is this store? Going into this jump, there has to be a store. Okay. The only way there's not is if these two jumps are also stores, which I guess could be the case. Yo, Gytros, thanks for 26 months. Appreciate that very kind message as well. Glad you could stop by today, Guy, and glad you're enjoying your time. We have, in fact, unveiled every jump or possible jump this sector, so um, uh, we're guaranteed to get a store here, even if I have to dive for it. There it is. Okay, good. I may even dive. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, fire drone and combat drone is going to strip our shield real quick. Going to follow the same plan we've been following. I heard the fire on that. Okay, it did hit my hacking part, but I disabled it, so that's not going to get destroyed. There's a weird interaction with Ion's, uh, this anti-combat drone. If you depower the hacking part before the Ion hits it, it will not make it spin and then have a 50% chance to be destroyed. Definitely a positive interaction for the player. Okay, that's going to be, that's going to be a cloak -a -roni. Let's go ahead and do this first, though. We're going to fire out here. That should definitely disable. Do this. Now I cloak. 95%. Okay, double shield fire. They should not go into piloting again. Or when this guy wakes up, he should not prioritize being in piloting. I don't think. Yeah, our low crew count is a bit of a concern, but we have two things that offset that. We have both Zoltan Shield and we have my Counter Mind Control. This could very much be a run where we end up buying um, level three doors or something. Black one is pretty slamming. If I replace the pike beam with flak one, uh, our weapon system fires at the same time consistently. Also, is there going to be another 250 scrap this run? I'm not convinced. 
That brings up to 3, 5, 7, 8 projectiles on a 10 second timer. Well, 12 second timer. Yes. Also has a much better chance for crew kills on the flagship, which um, is important. Okay. Um... Zoltans do have the added benefit of adding more power on the ship, so like picking up uh, Zoltan right now isn't bad. Since our power costs 30, it basically offsets the cost of these by 30 as well. I'm thinking maybe I buy two crew here, which I don't know if I've ever bought two crew from a single store before. I'm trying to think of a time I've done that. I don't think so. My gut is telling me just to buy King, though, and throw him in the sensors and upgrade our doors. Five crews should be more than enough. Especially with this system, which is going to strip their shields real fast. Yeah, I think I'd like to have one more crew that's not 70 HP here. Yeah, you can see the list of mods we're using for FTL by following that Google link. Just two mods right now. Um, better backgrounds version 2 and Rebel Fleet Pursuit Indicator. That's true, is that a negative that the uh, crew will not be manning a system if it's a Zoltan because we already have the systems that take power manned. Engines, weapons, shielding are all filled by Zoltans. So really, if we bought a Zoltan here, you'd just be hanging out in a shield room with uh, the other guy, which is fine. But not quite good enough. I'm going to buy King. I'm going to take one look here. Yeah, we're going to pick up King, and King's going to get a rename here. A little bit late for a rename, but we're going to do it. It's Mort. Mort 1337, in fact. Okay, I'm also going to buy Door Upgrade here. Um... Let's go ahead and pick up four shields right now. I can feel good about that purchase. Ooh. Six for 24, I feel is rather safe, even if we do not get a repair station in sector three. But I'm going to do 3 for 12 here to be extra safe. I'm just going to straight up buy a power bar because that's where we're at. So the last stand is happening. It's happening. Oh, glad I took the route I did, because there is not time to reach a repair station in this sector. No time at all. Okay, then. Oh, one, uh, one benefit I did not note on the ship with picking up the flak. Uh, it means that on most ships, we'll be hacking with one power rather than hacking with three power to strip shields. So that frees up more power for upgrades. Like, right here, we absolutely hack. Um, here, we're doing five damage to their weapons if everything hits, and we can guarantee it hits with the hacking part. 
can actually use our mind control to delay repair here instead. That'll do it, huh? And let's mind control this guy. Hey, fight, fight, fight. No time to salvage the wreck. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Uh, payday, it's faster, more efficient, and more capable of getting crew kills are the main mainstays of it. Just times out better with our other weapons. All right, now this ship could damage us. I hope it doesn't, but it could. I want to cloak this. Okay, good, good. Definitely going to mind control in here. Stop that repair. Okay, that's a fine place for you to board. Enjoy. Okay, well that did that, I guess. Wow, they got level one teleporter at this stage in the game. Nice, man. Enemy FTL is currently charging. Enemy FTL is currently delayed. Dude, he's bored with half HP. Legend, man. Uh, no. I can't. I won't. Sixty scrap a do. here okay you know i'll do it like a pickup like an automated reload would be pretty huge here well there it is okay there's a uh, big reason why i wanted automated reloader and that is with a level three piloting hack i can now fire two volleys at the enemy flagship before they cloak the first time under the duration of hack, meaning we have two volleys where everything hits. Only the automated reloader with this type of system um, is that allowed. Yeah, I'm going to keep the reverse ion field for the flagship fight, too. There's ions on phase one. I'm going to go ahead and buy what now? I need level three hack I just established. Um, man, this is tough. Let's see what's at this jump before we do anything. Um, here's another way to phrase that question that may help you answer it. Payday. Burst laser one is not 50 scrap better than charge laser one. So as a weapon, it does fire one second faster. Okay. 
Okay, let's get this, see if this double volley works for us this time. All right, so we're going to fire out here, and I'm going to fire these two. And now I'm going to start my hack. We start the hack late so that these weapons are back online um, in time. Okay, do you see our, our stuff still going here? So now we can fire out. And the hack is still online barely for that. That's the kind of kills I want. Okay, 33. That's it, huh? Well, with 80 scrap, what am I doing? I think just buying some stable power here might not be a bad idea. We do lose some value on our backup battery, but... No, let's buy value, mind control, value cloaking. These points are put in the system just to protect them if they take damage. We're not intending on powering those at all. And power bar after phase one here. Okay, it's happening. Three phase flagship fight coming up. Yo, Profit Gamer, thanks for 28 months. Thank ya. So we're going here, and we've established we're going to do a piloting hack. Gotta fire this like the second it's up here. Cloaking these. I'm going to reduce the duration of my own cloak by doing this. That's fine. Still gonna dodge the missiles here. Okay, that was perfect timing on the hack. We got it. Means I am definitely getting this. Okay, there is no time, no mind control because our senses are hacked now. Okay, so I'm gonna go heavy laser here. Well, actually. I'm gonna go heavy laser here. That guy leave? No. I think we got at least one crew kill in there. Now I can mind control the pilot. I'm gonna keep hammering shields. We're gonna continue trying to repair shields. Triple miss. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that went very well. Uh, we took no damage. Can't really ask for much better than that. Yo, Profit Gamer, thanks for 28 once again. And Gold Chain, Gold Shirt, what a name, what a player. The OG right there. Hope you're having a good day, man. Thanks for 66 months. Okay, a uh, big tip here. We want to fight the flagship at the base phase two. It's one of the most important things you can do on any FTL run. We're doing this to have a reset point of the base on phase three. Okay, that's a lot of crew left, man. The line on that is not great. Okay, we dodged it, though. Boarding drone landed and battery backup, whatever.
Nice triple kill. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we've got a breach from that missile. Fine. Here comes the drone phase. Cloaking. I actually just uh, reduced my cloak duration, which was not smart, but if I can get more crew kills here, it'll be very smart. Yes. Okay, this guy's free to leave the room, and he will. So while we took a little bit of extra damage for doing that, we did get a clean sweep on the crew, meaning there's going to be no boarding now on phase three. Awesome. Looking good right now. You're fine. All right, so phase three has a 10 bubble Zoltan shield. So twice the Zoltan shield we have. It also has mind control, but they can't mind control until our shield is down as well. We're going to have a little bit of a, a shootout here. I think after this run, uh, I'm going to do a Manus B run. I think after the uh, struggle that this ship has been, I want to play one of my favorite ships. Only four or three Type Bs remain to finish out the initial 28 victories on this FTL 102. I think Manus B's next. Go ahead and just buy this power bar because I can. Yes, Manus B is a four man teleporting vessel. Correct. All right, here we go. So we're jumping into them phase three. So we have the base as a safe jump back if something goes wrong. Since we killed off all their crew, there's very few things that can go wrong. Though, never underestimate FTL's ability to mess you up. We could get a three missile that starts six fires uh, in our shields and weapons and stuff. Never underestimate this game. Okay, here we go. So, on this one, still going to hack piloting. Okay, so right as these missiles arrive, I'm going to be doing a cloak. Okay, that one double fires, so I'm talking about right there. And then when these happen, I'm actually going to fire my weapons out. I want to reduce the duration of my cloak right now. And you think, why would you want to reduce the duration of your cloak so it's back up in time for the next time that happens? Okay, nope, we're not doing that. This guy could die to a missile. Quite the volley you got there. Alright, since we reduced the duration of our cloak, you can see it's back up like perfect timing. Get any better than that. GG, that definitely calls for some dapper time. What a run that was. Nice.
GG, what a run. If you have some guesses for score there, uh, I'm not sure on this one. It wasn't like a super OP run or anything. We were at five engines. So I'm going to guess around 5,200 is my guess myself. So we did have some pretty substantial fight sectors. One thing this run really didn't have that a lot of runs do is a lot of drops, which may escalate the score a lot, too. I'm going to say 52-52. That's my guess. Let's see what it is. 56-86. I knew it was going to be higher than I thought. Why is that? Session stats, 46 ships defeated, 102 beacons explored. That's a pretty high amount. Uh, 1851 scrap collected. There it is. Three runs to beat Zoltan B. I believe it. All right, so now we're going to go to our Type B ships. We have what remaining? NGB, Federation B, Mantis B and Lanius B. The next run on the list here is going to be number 30, Mantis B. I think after this, I'll probably knock out uh, NGB, one of the most difficult ships in the game, and then finish out with these two. So Mantis B has two shields and a defense drone. It's the only ship that starts with two shields, though it does have some very big weaknesses in the early game, mainly only having Mantis to board with uh, and no weapons. So if a fire starts down here on the ship, you're pretty much screwed. It's a tough situation. Well, anywho, we've been streaming for just over three hours now. Um, very hungry as well, so I'm going to stand up stretch real quick. Uh, use the restroom, grab some water, grab a very quick snack here. My breakfast, in fact. Please do enjoy any kitties that may appear. And as a reminder, no ads during any break during the show. Just do one set at the very end. We'll return momentarily for uh, some more fun. Encourage you all to stand up stretch and grab some water too. Be right back. Thank you. 
Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed Doodle Dip and Gargoyle Pin during the break. What are you doing out there, Penny? Alright, cat stuff, cool. Let's head back into our run here. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. During that, Jaxie, and thanks for 22 months. Slip Slide, thanks for 15. And Tharson, thanks for 8 months as well. Uh, feel free to throw some name suggestions for this fine vessel, the Basilisk. I'm going to grab some names for our crew here from the patron name list. Alright, we're going to give Mort another go here. Mort was only on this ship for like half a sector. And Demi. All right, number 30. Oh, lots of very good creative suggestions rolling in here, making it tough on me today. How about we mix a few? We've got Neon Stew. How about that? Keep the food theme. Looking good. Let's head on out. Okay, so what we're hoping for on Mantis B is that early we end up getting more crew and that we don't run into a bunch of automated ships. Those are the two hopes. While Distress could be another crew, I have nothing else for Distress Beacons. Let's go ahead and do that. Dump away. Okay, we're going to attempt to download here. It worked. We just got a map reveal. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Let's go get some scrap, shall we? Not automated. Okay, not automated, but also not easy here. Yikes. Uh, so I'm going to load up defense drone right now to shoot down some of these asteroids because this is going to take it down that heavy laser is working, which is scary. Uh, let's go take a little peeky peek at what's on the enemy ship before the Zoltan shield goes down. Okay, we have rock and human. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to board into the engine, which gives us a two on one versus the human in there. Nice shot, defense drone. This is actually a really scary position because the uh, if the heavy laser or asteroid starts a fire in here, it's game over. Did she just steal a toy? Okay. Okay. Doodle dip on the loose. So if that asteroid hit also had a fire attached to it, that would have been the end of our run. The ship is very weak to O2 damage with fires as Manus have half repair skill. Until we get a non-Manus crew, that will continue to be the case. It's cat, man. Very true, Zell. Without the asteroids here, we would have been unable to fight that Zoltan ship, so we got lucky. Okay, this one's Pulsar. Pulsar will not be an automated ship, guaranteed. Um, How many jumps? One, two, three, four, five here. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five store. Looks good. I'm hoping in a store we can find either a weapon or additional crew. I'm going to reject your offer. Okay, we're going to let them board us here. They board with a rock. Interesting. I'm going to go take a little peeky peek real quick. Okay, it's just engineer human. No problem. 
If they had other fighting crew, like a Manus, I might leave this one almost a lo almost dead and let them teleport back so they teleport in with another crew. As is the case, that's unnecessary. Two Manus gonna win versus Human Engineer 100% uh, of the time. I'm gonna do a very quick swap here. Just gonna select them, send them out, send them back in a different order. This makes sure that we're winning the fight versus both crew. Good. Yo, what's up, man? New crew. Let's get you a new name, buddy. Big find, big find. All right, this is Carthora. Part of me wants to not go to stores right now, but the other part of me knows it's a bad idea. We do have Manus Pheromones to sell too, so let's just put us in striking range of a weapon. All right, I am going to hit both stores here because both long-range scanners and a weapon are priorities. Um, okay. I'd love to buy this, though we can't get it online for a long time, but we can't afford it. So I'm just going to sell the pheromones, and then we'll um, just move along. All good. Nearby sun, we're fine with that. Uh, if I don't get something at the store, I'm going to buy level 2 teleporter. If we have to do that, I'll go into the details. Not automated ship. Not automated ship. Okay, they also decided to mind control my pilot, which is ideal. We may lose our piloting here. But we're going to get a kill. Okay, we got rock and what? I'm going to run up to the weapons now. The rock is going to be slower to reach this room, so we get a few extra hits on the human. And now we're good. Okay, let's repair that. Since we now have a rock who's immune to fires, we don't have to worry about this O2 fire situation as much. Chain burst laser, that's a functioning weapon. Awesome. Okay, fire's incoming. Fire in the O2. Alright, you go here. You go here. Um, you hang out for a second. I want my FTL to be charging here, or anything else. Can you go help him out? I'm going to vent this here. Yes, we did get double fire. That's tough. Going out, though. So this 100% this would have been a game over situation. If we did not have this rock. Just done right now. Okay, it's almost repaired. I'm gonna wait till I hear the noise, and then I'm jumping. Two fuel for two drone parts. That's um not bad. Except we may be very heavy into drone parts here soon. Yeah, the boarding drones are a really important piece, uh, Gindy, since we have no weapons. It functions like a weapon on automated vessels. Uh, another very decent option right now is just to buy the weapon power. But let's see what's at this store first. Hmm. 
Second guessing myself here if I should buy just buy the weapon power, because if we do run into an automated ship that does fix it. Also, if it's a Zoltan ship in the Pulsar, it's pretty bad. I could choose to skip this Pulsar and just go into kind of this route. Let's, let's risk it for a biscuit right here. Biscuit was risked and uh, looks good. Yeah, I do need to board right away, and I think this may be a three crew border. Um, wow. Okay, I'm gonna use boarding drone here and board in with two. Okay, we got engineer and something else. This is good. May take a substantial hit here. Yep. Okay, we're good. Only two damage. That's <laughs> definitely worth using the boarding drone. That was the difference between one or two volleys from their weapons. Bub Ninja, good to see you. Lots of cool people in the chat today. Thank you all for the excellent conversation and game questions today, but a very uh, fun stream of FTL. To the store. Black 2 is certainly a weapon that can work in this type of system, but uh, what I want to do is buy some functional upgrades for the ship now. I'm going to purchase one weapon power, so now we can have chain laser online. It's a big deal. We've got an extra crew and a weapon now. Uh, I'm going to purchase... Two and three engines, I think. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get three engines going. There we go. Feels good. We've solved most of the early game problems. So if you don't get a weapon early on, what you do is you buy two teleporter. And on the automated ship that has the two sides and the piloting, you board in with your Mantis with level two teleporter and then send the boarding drone out. Which takes an exceptionally long time to kill stuff. But is, uh, is a route you can take. Let's try this jump. Luckily, since we have chain laser up this early uh, in sector one, that should not be an issue. Okay, it's very unlikely this ship uh, features a anti-personnel drone since they have both combat and anti-combat. So I'm gonna go ahead and just board into uh, engines here. And after the first crew dies, this guy's gonna come out of piloting. Ooh, that was a close hit, man. Okay, once he comes out of piloting here, I'm going to fire into weapons, make us safer. Okay, there has to be a fire started there. It's the only way. I'm going to abandon now. Can a drone hit through two shields? Yes. Will it? Uh, almost certainly no. Hey, that's real cool, man. With the crew dead, you search the ship, you find military-grade weaponry and take what looks most useful. I would say, indeed, Flat Gun Mark I is very useful. That is three projectiles on a 10-second timer. Very sick start to this run so far. 
I should have bought some fuel from the previous store. Okay, though. It's in fact only 60 scrap to bring that online. Or bring both weapons online. Okay. Uh, I would if I could, man. I would if I could. Since we've already scouted, I'm not going to take one extra jump for a dive here. I like diving in Sector 1 on this ship. If this one connected, absolutely. Let's just go to the next sector, which is going to be Civilian Sector. Okay. Alright, this one's easy defense drone. Okay, I'm gonna load up chain laser here. I'm gonna board his three into the drone room. It's definitely gonna be a three crew ship. Okay, they got level 2 medbay as well. It's tough. So we're going to continue having combat in here so they're not repairing. Um, is this fine? Is this is fine. Okay, there's fires in there now, so let's leave. We're good. Almost obliterated my own crew, but not quite. Almost doesn't count. Ah, uh, yes, there's one very spicy kitsu. Okay, another store right here. Cool, cool. Um, do I want to hit this store yet? No. And this one has a very good dive opportunity. So, with that in mind, let's take a couple jumps here. That also can I go one, two, three, four. And we'll head back this way. I would like to get enough scrap to po possibly end up buying um, hacking at this store. Also, need to buy fuel at this store. Just reminding myself. All right, they're gonna teleport in first. I'm just gonna wait for that, and then we're gonna kill them. Tasty num nums. The ship also can't hurt us. So that's cool. Oops, all dead. Pretty heckin' friendly start right now. Okay, we're gonna attack the schlaver scum here. Oh, mind control schlaver scum at that. Alright, hold up a second. Enter the room now. And we're gonna teleport over. Okay, um, yes, this is fine. I do need to swap these crew in a moment, but it's not who I was expecting to see. Let's go ahead and hit here. Make sure that doesn't happen again. Okay. 
Okay, it's gonna swap these guys real quick. Safety first. Got him. Do I take more gems before the stores? Or even not to, is the question I should ask. Can't go one, two, then three, and still at the store. Four, five, six, and over. I think I'm going to do exactly that. I'll get four more gems before this store. I'm also going to pick up a tech two piloting here for a potential manually search the wreckage event. Intervene and defend the outpost. Outpost is great, guaranteed double reward. Ship could potentially damage us, but not like this. Here, this hack lands. Hacking landed in the med bay. I'm going to board his three on this ship. Let's finish it. If I take down the mini beam here, I feel very good. Uh, Iron Hand, we'd probably be about a thousand runs right now. Maybe a few more, give or take. But definitely not five or six digits, no. If you average me out to three hours a run, which I think would be uh, pretty fast for me, uh, we'd be at about a thousand runs of FTL in the past ten years. Okay, here we go. For sure, Robo Josh, there's a lot to manage on on ships that have teleporter. It's not it's not an easy easy play. Definitely one of the more intense styles of play because a lot can go wrong really quickly when you're teleporting. You have one bad boarding decision or. All sorts of things can go wrong. Let's go ahead and peripheral. I'm not sure why that's a lull medieval, but okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with enjoying the same games continually. Beats uh, paying thousands of dollars for half completed games, if you ask me. Okay. Go ahead and boarding drone this thing. Okay, landed in weapons. This is very good. So, automated ships can't repair breaches, so that the boarding drone landed in here. Uh, it means that... Not shields, please. Thank you. Uh, this will never repair. Now all we gotta do is wait. Even before I was a streamer, I was always this way. I like playing. I like playing the games that I like to play. I think we, as a uh, as a species, if nothing else, are spoiled for choice for entertainment. Sometimes even overwhelmingly so. I think it's nice to find something you like and stick with it. 
Yo, Domiku, thanks for 99 months. Enjoy that continued lurk, man. Lurkers are the best. Okay, there's a second store here. Nice. We go one, two, three. I was going to say, if there is scrap associated with this event, which there is, this could very easily be uh, cloaking here in Sector 2. No sense in trading on a situation like this, just because we're... <laughs> We're not going to be using these crew demand systems. We're using them to kill. There you go, Claudio. That's a good way to look at it. I like that. Really nothing wrong with trying stuff out. I've played hundreds of games over the 10 years I've been here on the site, but some games are just very special in their ability to continue to provide enjoyment. FTL's definitely one of those. Eighteen scrap of doom or to 150 scrap. 150 scrap is a pretty magic number here. That buys cloaking. There it is. Oh man. So I gotta tell you, I'm torn on buying cloaking, because I'd like to buy hacking even more than cloaking right now. In fact, I want to buy hacking, not cloaking. Um, yeah. Let's go backup battery here, so it's not taking up a slot for systems. We'll never see backup battery again, which makes more room for hacking at a later store. Zoltan shield bypass is very tempting with this uh, Mantis-style ship. But we already had the possibility of five projectiles. So I don't think that's needed. In a situation with no weapons, this would be almost an instantaneous buy. I can see that, Medieval. Slay the Spire is a great game with a lot of replayability. It's one you can enjoy for a long time. Well, well, well. I kind of want to buy Halberd Beam right now because Halberd Beam means we could win the game with the systems that we currently have. What's right? I can reasonably get rid of the boarding drone now. That's uh, that's true. Might want to save until I have something to buy for it, though. So if I buy Halber Beam and then don't find hacking, that's a problem. If I can get Halberd Beam flack up, though, like, just for the next couple of sectors, we're pretty powerhousey. I think the cleanest option at this moment, though, is just buying three shields and then calling that good.
Got a wealth of choices right now. Too many choices. All right, Halberd's too far in the future, okay? I mean, I want to buy it, but I know that this purchase right here is really huge. Three shields plus defense drone. There are very few ships in the game that are going to be able to touch us for at least like two sectors now. Don't want to sell to me? They don't, okay, that's fair. We're definitely taking two extra jumps for a dive here. Believe that. Free drone parts, thanks. Hey, we found the rebel ship, awesome. All right, here we're gonna load up defense drone and we're gonna board in with three Manti. Count them. Yo, what's happening, Kozar? What's up, dude? Get Kozar a new name here. That is Phoenix Captain. Alright, that's pretty stellar. I would like to buy one more uh, engine right now for this dive, but also... I have four-man boarding party, and we're very close to being able to purchase hacking, so I want to stay within that striking distance of hacking. A couple thoughts there, Claudio. Very excellent question. Uh, Claudio asked, be better to trade out the rock for the human for boarding. Uh, in this case, I don't think so. Let me just demonstrate here. The Manus and human have very similar move speed. You can see the Manus is slightly faster. But if we start a rock and a manis from the same position, look, the manis just cruises. So for the purposes of boarding with four crew, I think having crew that have similar movement speed is good. The rock is also really just good in piloting because if a fire starts, he is able to put it out. He can hold his own versus borders for a while uh, and other benefits of having more HP. So we're able to utilize the movement speed of the human a little better. The rock definitely has more HP, but when you're dealing in four-man boarding crews, the amount of HP is usually not the issue. It's the uh, crew advantage. All right, so here, do I even bother boarding? The answer to that question is no, I do not bother boarding, because this ship can't damage me at current, and if I do end up boarding, and then we end up having our teleporter hit by the ASB, then I can't get back, and the ASB fires two or three times. I could definitely kill this ship. But if the ASB hits our teleporting, then uh, we're taking damage, and a lot of it. Okay, empty room, good. Uncharted Nebula, I think I'm actually gonna go Rebel Controlled here, because Rebel ships are fun to board. We're a very good rebel killer right now. Okay, um, I guess I'm not finishing that quest. Not even sorry about it. I'm gonna go up here and then down. I'm gonna save up a little bit here for hacking, which would be what we need.
intruders on board, really? Dude, they got a big old gun too. Yikes. Okay, let's go here. I'm gonna drop this for flak right now. They consider even using a boarding drone here. Hmm. Okay, nice. We got the big missile down. That's all we needed. Or big laser, rather. No auto fire right now, thanks. Okay, they got level two med bay. That's fair. I'm actually going to go uh, chain laser here, and then I'm going to board into shields. It's going to pull all of their repairs off of that system. Uh, they will go back into the med bay, just like last time. Two on one, we should be able to finish them off here. Yep, that's the case. That worked out well. Hey, go Sun Prime. Thanks for 24 months. Appreciate that. Two years. Thanks a lot. Uh, the yellow fist appearing with the manus is their crew training leveling up. So this 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 right here, we have two max trained uh, fighting crew so far. The green fist will uh, indicate halfway trained. Hey, okay, ion storm and prepare to fight. Huh. How do? All right, on this one, we're going to go chain laser. I'll run him over to this, I guess. I could use a boarding drone here, but I had to free up power to do so, which is very difficult. If we disable this, I only need two shields online. That's correct, Ninja. 10% extra damage um, for level 1, 20% for level 2. And now that is on the, amplified by the Mantis's multiplier of 1.5. So it's really more like 15 and 30 for Mantis crew. Do we have a doodle dip situation? Hold on. Oh, the legs are hanging out the back. Oh, man. Oh, man. Doodle dip. Cat's pretty special. Brixie's going to try to get a picture for the Discord here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight jumps before the exit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I need to get a lot of extra action in here, actually. Go here first. And we're going to cut back this way, up and around. Yep. Hey, at 98 scrap, you're very tempted to buy something, but I'm not going to, because I would need to be able to buy hacking at the one store that might be here. Oh, they're trying to escape? Well, unfortunately, that's not going to happen for them. Okay, this weapon setup is vicious. How am I going to contend versus this ship? Start by putting our shields online. Um, let's do this, too, and back a battery here. We are going to four-man board their shield room.
Finishing the quest is not an option on this one. It's in a dead end. Mercy? Okay, that's not mercy, but it's not uh, not too much pain either. Please be level one medbay. Okay, it's not level one medbay. Changes everything. If I can get one of the two weapons down, we're fine here. Okay, we've destroyed the drone. Good. Okay, these crew have enough health to be fine. Let's begin by opening these doors. Just in case this hits doors there, too. We're going to send these crew out. We're going to send these crew in. We're going to send these crew in again. Fire and sensors. That's fair. Um, it's going to hit here. I'm going to send two mantis in right now. And then you out and you over here. Kill him. Okay, he's killed. Okay, now we're going to grab these crew. We're going to send this one in and swap this one. Dude. Whew. That fight was some stuff. Okay, no more fires in the headphones. Okay, O2's going back on. Boy, howdy, that was, uh, whew. that was a something. Heavy Laser 1's a very nice weapon here, because I can go Flak Heavy Laser 1 rather cheaply, and that is a big improvement to our offense. Really hoping we see a store to repair here, too. Hey, Digital. Thanks for five months, dude. Appreciate that continued support. Thanks so much. Okay, our best chance of seeing a store right now is this jump. Let's go ahead and purchase this weapon power and one power bar. This way I can have flak heavy laser online. Yeah. That's a lot safer than our current setup. Then the rockin'. Boom! FTL recharge booster, also known as something I'm going to sell. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if this is six. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four, five, six exits. This is a real cool time to have Flak Heavy Laser. Even though it got hacked, still cool. The ship can't damage us, fortunately. Level 3 piloting. Cool ship, man. Cool ship. No. I think the hack's gonna come back online here. Gonna have any second now, anyways. We good. 
No store. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, our pathing is locked now. Yay, more rebel ship. Um, I'm gonna reject your offer, dude. What I thought, it was a tarp. Okay, this ship does have a shield overcharger drone. So they're gonna make it so we can't board here pretty quick. I'm just gonna board in now and defend with the rock. I will fire flak out at the clone bay and call this an easy kill. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Yo, Zadrak, thanks so much for continuing that subscription, or extending it, rather. I'm glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. Yo, what's up, Yevon C? Get you a new name there, partner. That's gonna be, uh, Spoopy B. We got the crew anyways. Serendipity. Spoopy B is going to be the engine guy. Actually, weapons guy here. Engines are important, but getting weapons disabled seems better. If this is a store, I'll dive for it. I think FTL is like 250 right now on the Steam sale. I have not browsed the sale at all myself, but I assume it is on super sale, as it often is. Okay, easy defense drone here. Even though we have a defense drone, I still want to try to disable weapons here. The defense drone can miss its target or not intercept its target more correctly. And just like that. Well, oh well. is looking a little sketchy right now. Smidgen. Ooh, that was a barely intercept. So the defense drone picks the point between point A and point B to intercept the missile. So if it's firing all the way across the ship, it may not happen. Okay, well, here we go. Please hit. Thank you. And a breach. Well, FTL is officially 250 right now. That is a steal. Definitely one of the best games in the last decade, in my opinion. It's a classic. Ah, feels fine here. As long as we make it to the next sector with a couple of fuel, it's all good. Running out of fuel is actually not a very big deal in FTL. You don't want to, but it can even be beneficial in some cases. I'm not worried. Aid the Federation ship. 
Okay, well, let's just load up a defense drone here. Let's board as a four-man team. And when they go to the med bay, I'm going to slam it. Yeah, it's just good policy to pause an FTL. Uh, pause feature is there for a reason. A quest marker to next sector. That could be a, like a big repair or a weapon. Like, pausing when the enemy weapons are coming in lets you know which systems are going to get hit before they do. This gives you more time to buffer, uh, more time to make the correct decision as far as repairs go. Hundred and seventy six scrap is so much scrap right now. So much. Only in sector three. I'm very tempted to bring the chain laser online. See what that looks like. Forty-one. I can't quite get hacking then. Hold on. Like one more scrap reward and I can go in on that. You want to save some for fuel and a repair too, ideally. Okay, let's board here. Uh, let's board here. Should be able just to slam the med bay, but in the chance that this fires, I need to load up the defense drone. We're good. It might be somewhat healed in here. Somewhat healed indeed. Yo, who knew? Thanks for 19 months. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, if you're new to FDL, uh, learning to pause aggressively is definitely a skill you have to work on. Because your brain will tell you, oh, I can just power through this fight. Uh, that time to think or time to react with the pause button is uh, functionally very important. Okay, if I had more hole, I would dive, but I don't. Ooh, rebel controlled again. Alrighty. Alrighty. Ooh, okay, store exists. Uh, I do want to hit this rebel, this base. Even though we're going to miss a jump for this, I'm going to take it. Uh, Hidden Federation base could very easily be another crew, could be a full repair, could be weapon, drone, um, etc. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then over and down. Decent amount of nebula here at the end, too. Cool. Quest time. Oh, yeah. That one did need uh, extra something. Long-range scanners or sensors works there. I think you actually need level 3 sensors on that one. It's possible you need sensors for that one. There are other rewards, I should say. Okay, we're going to sell the FTL recharge booster. Uh, I think boarding drone can go now as well. It's going to be the only store this sector, almost certainly. Gonna repair to 23. Gonna get to 15 fuel. And then I'm gonna get uh, two more weapon power, two more power bars. So now we have an actual weapon system, which still needs hacking to be a contender for the flagship, but it's certainly working. Hmm. Okay, this connects back down. So what I want to do now is go over here and then snap up all these nebulas before hooking back down this way. We just need one thing to complete here, and that's uh, the hacking subsystem. Everything else looks great. In fact, we could technically win without hacking right now. It would just be a very long flagship fight. Uh, 
All right, my man. You got no no shields and an asteroid field. I like these guys. Drone recovery is most commonly bought on ships that have three drone slots, but not always. Everything in FTL is situational. There's not a single thing that is uh, never good. Drone recovery arm can be extremely powerful in the right situation. Okay, how many nebulas are left here? Got five nebulas left, and that does not limit our exit potential, I don't think. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. That's two and a half. Seven. Um, okay, let's just go. Dude, another one? My dude. All right, now this ship has actually a scary setup. I've got to be careful here. Move him over to engines, and then we'll run these guys out. Gotta be careful. With our full volley here, we should be able to stop this. Should. Good. Oh, I hit the wrong system. Dang it. The hits were good, but my, uh, my order was not... Might be taking some damage here. Yep, we're taking damage here. A lot of it. Ouch. Okay, only four is not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay, we're good. Well, that was four damage I could have done without taking. Oh well. Prepare to fight. All right, with two shields, we're safe here. Give that a try. First three shield chip. Would you look at that? Reconstructive teleport. Okay. The so reconstructive teleport allows you to get a full heal when you teleport in or back from the ship. Uh, sounds really cool. It's much better when you have Clone Bay, because Clone Bay uh, does not allow you to heal your crew up like Medbay. You have to heal per jump, so it's an additional form of healing. Not to say it's bad. It will just most likely be sold. Attack the ship. Double missile launcher. Dude, just stop it. Stop it. Don't worry, I'll stop it for you with my Mantis Claws.
Got him. All right, looking at this again, um, I don't actually get an extra jump for this. So I think I'm just going to go down here and then finish on this jump. No, actually, I'm wrong here. I get I get two more jumps here. That's, that's what I want. One, two, three. Lock on. Boom. Dolan the Shield Rock. Cool, man. But you're going to be an engine guy instead. Also, Dolan's going to get a new name here. That name's going to be Wizmander. Classic. You know what? I'm going fifth engine power bar. Let's go. Oh, interesting. Um, well, I'm not using hacking yet, so... I could probably even afford 12 for 48 in this situation. Let's do it. It is half of our drone parts, but we're not currently using them for anything but defense drone. We got time to replenish the resource too, and 48 scraps a lot. Like one third of the scrap from this entire sector in some cases. Okay, they're all in there. Um, did he die or nah? Okay, they're done. They're done. Ooh, exciting. We found a second store here in the Rebel Sector. That's keen. Enemy FTL charging. Alright, so on this ship, while it can possibly damage us, it's not necessarily likely. I'm going to fire at piloting first, and then we can disable weapons from there. But getting piloting down is the priority. Good. Now we can worry about other stuff. This is really pushing the limits of what our offense can do. Anti-personnel drone. I'll sell that. What a cool sector this has been. I feel like we are exceptionally ahead on... Scrap for this run. I don't know how we're so far ahead on scrap, but we are. I guess it's because we found all of our weapons for free here. That's kind of the difference. We haven't had to purchase weapons yet. All right, dude, I got the goods. How about hacking now? One time? Okay. Wow. Um, I believe we're going to swap out 
flak f or chain laser for flak, then we have flak flak heavy laser. That is seven projectiles on a very fast timer. The same timer, in fact. Um, yeah, this thing's lagging behind. Black Flak, Heavy Laser 1 could win the flagship fight, but I still don't want to buy Cloaking. I want to buy Hacking. Buy 3 fuel here. Let's buy a small repair. And that's it. Reconstructed Teleport sells for 35. I will sell that if I can get something else for it in return. Right now, it just it doesn't need to get sold. Rock controlled or mantis controlled? Hmm. Choice. I'm going to take rock controlled here. Little uh, interesting. Uh, Frisbee Hobby, you only have one system available on this. We already have drones and teleporting. So it's either cloaking or hacking. And I don't really have a weapon system good enough to knock it hacking right now. So yes, I am interested in cloaking, but I have to weigh that versus defeating the flagship. Okay. We're going to go one, two, three. We're going to miss another jump here, or I can go one, two, three. Even better. There it is. Okay, bots. Give me that. And okay, now we do have to be wary because we are sharing drone parts between our defense drone and our hacking. Though the defense drone just became less important. Do I even want to see this store now? Yeah, I do. That is a, a heckin' biggie boy right there. That's some some big big hits. There's three rocks here. Um uh, What do, what do? Here's what do. Should be just enough of a delay to get the kill here. Nobody on piloting should do some major damage. Oh yeah, well we're mostly safe. Well, I'd love to. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use a defense drone on that. I won't. I will take my lick. Drone recovery arm is not um, untempting here. I'm going to sell reconstructive teleport now. Uh, the reason I kind of like the idea of drone recovery arm is we're sharing, so I can use defense drone very freely uh, if I do that. By golly, I think that's a good idea. 
Could also buy Beam Drone here to help strip Zoltan's shields faster, but being able to freely use this without running out of drone parts uh, seems awesome. I'm also going to buy one drone part, and then two hacking, six engines, one power bar. Hey, remove plant man. Thanks for that prime sub, dude. Thanks for being here today. Thank you, thank you. Distress beacon was a trap. That's dirty, man. Why would you do that? That's true. You can use bot commands anytime, even the stream's not live. Very rarely the bot will go down for a little bit. If that ever happens, drop a line in our Discord, too. Possible I can hit here. We're going to board shields now. Oh, you guys are super dead. So when we jump away from this uh, beacon, we're going to get replenished. Our drone part replenished that we use for the defense drone. Already paying off. Suppose technically we'd have to save, let's see, seven drone parts in order for the drone recovery arm to pay off. But really, it's kind of like um, it's adding a safety net to the build. Whereas if we don't have it go perfectly, we still have outs. Kind of like how I like to look at drone recovery arm. Nice little safety net. What's your specialty? Oxygen system for 16. Okay, I'll do that. I was going to buy level 202 by the end of the run now, so we'll get a 9 scrap savings on that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, exit. Is that best? Go here. Yes, exactly right. It's a peace of mind augmentation. That's uh, that's an excellent assessment. All right, I'm going to board into engines to start here, and I am absolutely 100% using a defense drone. And when they go to their med bay, I'm going to slam it. It was not quite the slamming I was hoping for. It also seems like they may still have their med bay online. Okay, everybody to the O2. Dude, I shot that missile out of the sky. That was sick. Gotta be fires in here. Otherwise, it'd be repaired already. Where is the crew? Where you got? Oh, there you are. Hey. Hey. Is this going to be like a scrap record run? What do you guys think? This is um this has been pretty intensely profitable so far. Like we're in sector 5. We entered sector 5 with 5 engines, 3 shields. I don't know. Probably uh, the 1C1. Uh, let me explain how defense drones work. Uh, when a missile comes into your ship, the defense drone chooses the point between point A and point B to intercept the missile. So if your defense drone's over here and the missile's coming in over here, there's always a chance it does not reach the missile in time. So certainly destroying the missile outright is better. 
but the defense drone probably would have caught it. Another way uh, defense drones can miss is if they fire two missiles right around the same time, then the defense drone's only able to catch one. Yeah, I'm going to start this fight in the shield room. Okay, we missed med bay. That's tough. All good, though. They're getting crushed. Everybody in the O2 room. Okay, who's my two highest HP mantis? It's these guys. Let's go. Gonna win this fight? Ooh, it might be close. Gonna win? Oh, man. Okay, he's winning now. He's winning now. Too close, man. Okay, you leave. Well, hold on. This is bad. This is actually really bad. I goofed. Ooh. Okay. Cheap reactor. Every reason one HP. Three. So every time a crew hits, there's a roll between two numbers on how much damage they're going to do. The high roll for the rock there would have left our Manus crew at 1 HP. So we almost lost somebody there. Okay. We are in a solar flare. Um, I'm going to hack piloting. I'm going to board into shields. I am going to flack the weapons, hack, and then heavy laser the med bay. Perfect. That's what needed to happen. Ooh, nasty. Let's cut the O2, open that up. Dude, what's up, Nathan? Awesome, man. Nathan's going to be a solid addition to the team. Fortunately, our med bay is going to be no O2 for a moment, and our sensors might go down here. Oh, we're good. Okay, so now we're going to go level 202. We're going to close the doors, reopen them. We're also going to power the med bay. We're going to start the healing. I'm actually going to overcrowd our med bay real quick. Okay, there's that. Nathan, go work on this. We'll worry about where you go in a minute. We have up until the flare goes off to jump. Might as well squeeze out as much repair as we can get. Hey, what's up, doodle dip? Doodle dip, doodle dip. Sorry, I'm easily distracted by baby kitties. Hey, dude, somebody has a doodle dip emote. Awesome. Good one. 
Oh boy, burnt out hole of a rock mine layer drifts by, behind the wreck drifts a live mine, an automated drone that drills into ship's holes before exploding. It locks onto your ship's signature and heads your way. We're going to reverse thrusters here. Okay, so if we take the first option there, what happens is that the mine attaches to our ship, and then we have to send somebody out to defuse it, and you have to choose red wire or blue wire. If you make the wrong choice, you lose a crew, and if you make the right choice, you get a high scrap reward. Uh, hail them. Alright, this ship has this thing, which is scary. Alright, where's this guy gonna go now? Let's just drop him in shields for the moment. I'm worried about this. Okay, I'm gonna make an educated decision here. I'm going to board into the med bay. And after I hack it. So this may seem odd, but since I get a four-man crew in there to start, we should disable this before they get in the door. I'm going to let them in now. Okay, double Zoltan's a little scary. Zoltan's explode for 15 crew-wide damage when they die. Oh, but we're real good here. Real good. I definitely should have fired my weapons there. You can give yourself additional time to pump down the medbay that way by hacking. Uh, anytime you hack, the enemy crew does not want to enter the room, and that will not hurt your crew since it's your hacking. We could have got down up to a level 3 medbay there with level 2 hack. Slug controlled or manus controlled? I'm going to go manus controlled. They're much harder to board, but that is okay. Yeah, uh, provided it doesn't miss a lot, the uh, Ion 2 definitely can strip four shields. That's not likely, but it is possible. I mean, straight up, right now, buying four shields looks pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and rename our crew here. It's going to be Grim Void. Well, I got to see what this doodle dip's doing. Well, game over, guys. I was viciously mauled by a tiny baby kitty. I 
I got a good feeling about this jump. I can even hop back here if I want to. Uh, let's do that. I'd like to see one more store before I spin scrap. Okay, attack the ship. So on this one, I'm going to let them board me for sure. Double Manus in the shield room is problematic. We're going to defend as a four-man unit right now. Okay, they did manage to make it back. It means they have a very high-level teleporter. Um, let's just retreat to our med bay here. Ow! They got jukes, too. Good for them. Okay, we got a breach inside their med bay now. Uh, will this make them go to this room? Say yes. Okay, they decided to board with a not full health unit, which uh, I would not say would be my choice, but it's certainly a decision you can make. And now it's on. Ooh, more coffee, nice. Oh, I see what happened there, okay. Well, when they enter this room, they're gonna die. Bonk. Hmm. I'm worried about missing a store up here, but should I be? Is this an actual concern or I really don't like this bottom path because there's a separation between each of these, so we miss out on jumps. Still miss a jump here, but less so. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then head back up. Also, I really should just buy four shields right now. I want four shields since we didn't get cloaking. Since we're not getting cloaking here. Okay, where are they going to board from? Okay, they boarded in the med bay. Can I get in here in time to pull them back in? I can. Ship has no med bay. Let's do this. I'm gonna try slam chunking the weapons here. That works. All right, they boarded me. Now I'm gonna board them. Huh? Take that, man of scum. It worked. A store. Okay. Okay, now I'm at 283, which is a lot. So let's just go ahead and buy the four shields right now. Way more scrap than you should be holding on to casually in a run, that's for sure. Especially after you filled out your subsystems. Filling out your three subsystems is kind of the go-ahead point to spend all the scrap you get. Four shields in Sector 6 feels pretty nice. Already six engines, too. Yeah, I need to set this guy's position. Thank you. Yeah, I guess we're not going to go here. Aid those civvies, man. Let's go. All right. Will be a two-parter. Back to the med bay. Back in here. I'm gonna defense drone. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Let's load up engines. Really surprised we were able to get one kill there. That was cool. Okay. Um, there's no way there's four crew left, so I'm going to board with this one slightly injured crew.
Wait, who's left here? This guy won't be left for long. What's up, civvies? Okay. Nice Hermes missile and double reward. Life is good. Yo, Red Flurpy. Sorry for not seeing you sooner there, man. Thanks for 72 months. Appreciate that six years. Hey, we found a store. Um, oh, -ho, hello. Since we're so far ahead, I'm going to buy the third flak. Truthfully, the heavy laser one is just about as good as the flak here. And this cost is a uh, scrapped upgrade, but... But it's triple flak, okay. The only downside of triple flak is we have a very hard time hitting one particular system. It's more of a shotgun out there. I'm going to buy three fuel here. And I think I'm going to buy combat drone. We can use that on the last phase of the flagship fight. Well, any phase of the flagship fight, in fact, for increased offense. We're going to have the power to go into drones, too, since we only have a six-power weapon system. That stands to reason. How many points of reactor do we have left to get? Seven. Okay, yeah. I dare say this is kind of a downgrade on the weapon system, but it's fun. I'd really prefer a beam drone over a combat drone. I'm going to buy this with drone recovery arm, and then I'm going to buy level 2 backup battery here in a moment. 13 drone parts adequate. Buy double repair too. Bloop. Now let's count our jumps. How many did this jump right here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Two, three, four, five, boom, boom, and then probably a dive. Yo, nice Anwin. I've only had three, four flak runs in all my time in FTL. Hope you enjoyed that run a lot, man. The beautiful happening. On this ship, I think I'm just going to hack the med bay for ease of use. Uh, Wolf and Josh, the reconstructive teleport costs 70 scrap, and we have a med bay which accomplishes the same result. So, uh, reconstructive teleport is an almost never buy for me. Now we're going to let him in, and we're going to press the microwave manus button. Don't accidentally press the microwave uh, rock button, it'll be very overcooked. Nobody likes stringy mantis. What? Okay, you know what? This is fine. I'm going to let them go away here. Uh, the follow-up to this quest, or them running away, is we get a guaranteed weapon here. Intruder on deck. Uh, agree for bounty? Hell yeah, free 54. Give me that. Get as much heal as I can here before it goes off.
Okay. The stress is likely just a fight here. Do I have anything for this? Uh, what, are, what are the options? Um, cloaking, Ion, Engineer, Lanius. I don't believe hacking works here. Is this like a chance for a small scrap reward or five whole damage if I go promise to help? Yeah, I don't have any of the things you need to do this. I'm going to leave this alone. We had an engineer there. That was a easy high scrap reward. Oh well, can't can't win them all. I think level two backup battery looks awesome right now. All right, very unthreatening. Besides this. Where are they going to board at? Hell yeah, way to board right into my borders. Talk about a heckin' bamboozle right there. You're done, man. All right, this quest marker is going to result in a free weapon. Almost would have been nicer to kill that other ship, but... Uh, it does give us a guaranteed fight here, too. It's not all bad. We get the fight reward plus the weapon reward. Not you again. Do you know how much these repairs are going to cost me? Time to take out the big gun. Gonna preemptively defense drone here. Come on now. Look at this ship with no med bay. I like these guys. Gonna hit here. Ooh, that's a nice spread on that one. Chunky, chunky. Let's retreat and put these guys in. In case the missile gets past and accidentally hits the crew, you gotta be very careful of that. Down. Are they going to reboard now? Okay, just with one. Hmm. Should be able to kill this. Enemy ships will only ever board twice. That's the rule. Now we're going to board the shield room, which will make them prioritize that over all other things, even repairs in the weapon room. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Reach missiles. All right. That was an 86 scrap event. Feels nice because it is nice. That's tough. I'm gonna do this here. If I can get the piloting down, we're in a good spot. Nice. Uh, Clam K, we always play on hard mode here. We're currently in the middle of an FTL 101 series, which is 101 runs of FTL. First 28 being, our first 28 victories being the base 28 ships. We have uh, four ships after this remaining, no, three ships after this one remaining uh, to get those wins on. After that, we'll be doing a roll three pick one format. That feels nice. Oh my goodness. Little bully Daisy. Kicking the other cat out of the window. The 
This cat's an alpha, let me tell you. Let's do this. Okay, we can see now. It's gonna hit Clone Bay and board over there, I think. They might be boarding again very soon, though. Let's try this real quick. Gonna get in the shield room before they board. Enemies love defending shields. Yeah, Clam K, we've had a really excellent scrap run here. Uh, no doubt. It's been a really sick run for fights and drops. Would not be surprised if this one makes the top five list of our currently completed runs on this save. Started this uh, FTL 101 series with a fresh save with all ships unlocked. Our 30th run out of the 101. Okay, what else do I buy here? Nothing. We're diving. All right, with seven engines, I'm going to hack weapons. Maybe we'll just get out of here in time. But definitely get out of here before the ASB fires. If we do this, should keep us safe, I hope. I'm gonna be close on this missile. Ooh, that is as quick as the ASB can happen. Okay. Well, I really don't want to go abandon Sector 7. I'll just say that right now, so we're going to go Zoltan Controlled. Lanius Bomber Sector 7 is one of the most vicious ships in all of FTL. Uh, King Midas, I use the FTL save editor to uh, unlock all of the easy achievements to unlock all of the ships. Generally do that on any new FTL project. I use the FTL save editor to unlock everything and then start with the ships unlocked. It's a good idea, uh, Papoose, to get the extra drone power. That's definitely on our radar. Thank you. Store time. All right, this is all negatory. We can sell Breach and Firebomb, though. Then we can buy... I'll buy the four fuel, sure. Any st other store on the horizon? Not yet. Okay, let's get level three hacking in a power bar. Uh, Lanius ships are anaerobic, they don't have any oxygen, and Lanius also act as breaches, so when you get hit with a Lanius ship that has boarding mind control and is boarding with crew that drain oxygen, it gets very spicy very fast. And not fun spicy, very dangerous. Let's go. Okay, they have a system here. It's definitely capable of damaging us. What's the crew look like, though? Go take a peep. Energy fighter should be two crew. Yeah, we're good. Okay, since we did that, gonna do this. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use my backup battery... I'm going to go to level 3 hack, and then we're going to teleport into doors. Uh, we're not going to hack them while they're in the med bay. We're going to start our hack before they run away. This is 10 seconds of our crew doing combat where they don't have med bay as an option. Versus two Zoltans, that's an easy kill. Uh, 
Another store. Okay, we got a little bit of uh, wiggle room here before we hit it, too. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for at the store, but I guess we'll know when we see it. Probably um, automated reloader. You pick up a Zoltan life raft floating in space. Its inhabitant asks you to retake his ship from the pirates who recently commandeered it. I'm certain it is clear he concludes that you must not destroy my vessel in the process. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. What kind of ship we got going on here? Okay, two, three Zoltans, an engineer, and a human. That's spicy. Let's go ahead and drop the defense drone out right now. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hack the shield room when we're able to. So with three Zoltans on board, uh, that is 45 damage to every crew in the room when a Zoltan dies. So that's um, scary. So instead of hacking medbay, I'm going to hack shields. I'm going to depower it. I'm going to board into shields. And then I'm going to let one crew in, and then I'm going to shut the door with hack. I'm going to go ahead and fire out here, too. Hang on. Eight hit. This way we stagger out the damage that's happening uh, with the Zoltans. Could be one or two crew left, just one. Cool. Okay, battery charger. Egalitarianism is a cornerstone of successful cohabitation. Please enjoy the fruits of your labor. I will, man. That makes our battery charge at 15 seconds rather than 30. I'll almost certainly sell that, because the truth is that on almost all fights, if you're doing well, you only use the backup battery once. If you're using the backup battery twice, you're in trouble. Okay, let's go up here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going here. Do I need any? I don't believe I need any more fuel. I'm going to buy three just for super safety. I know I don't need it, but what if somebody wants fuel and I can pay it forward? Backup batteries lock time is halved. You know what? Let's just keep it. It's only 20 scrap worth of value. Yo, very cool, uh, new emote there. Thanks so much, uh, T-Mac for making that happen. Expected. Well, 
Well, I guess on that note, let's do our lurker roll call for today's stream. If you're lurking in the channel, meaning you're an active watcher but not an active chatter, you have the capability to and you want to. Now's your time to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Just thank you all for your silent contribution. You truly are the lifeblood of all of Twitch TV, but none more so than this channel and community right here. Uh, lurkers number one, now and forever. Appreciate each and every one of you. And most importantly, thanks for the time you're choosing to spend here right now. Most excellent. Sub Invictus, Fatal Hobo, Zephyrnauts, Sub DJ Haste Killed, Sub Kiddo, Raptor, that's good, uh, Rocketized Animal, Sub Tony, Fruton Squared, Connexus, Sub Grey Earth Vlader, good to see uh, Spell Siger. <laughs> Thanks so much again, T Mac, uh, appreciate that. Very cool, we now have a popping up lurk emote. Love it. Yo, during the Slayer Roll Call third. thanks for six months, and Chopper119, thanks for 16. All right. Look at all those beautiful lurkers. The best of the best. Justice TV. One more for that 100 club, dude. 99. That is immense. Thank you. Thank you. I'm debating what I want to spend my last scrap on here. I guess I don't have to make that decision right now. Let's dock with them. No freaking way. We have been studying the relationships between the species and determined that the Federation still has potential. Okay, dude, but that's a that's a freaking glade beam you just gave me. Glade beam though. I might just freaking use that. Maybe. Uh, we're attacking here, and we better believe we're killing. Okay, actually, hold up. Uh, I got a plan. Uh, almost always, I would just board and kill, but I'm already full up on crew, so we're going to go for a more standardized kill technique here uh, in just hitting the ship, and if they offer a tribute, we're going to turn it down so we get a guaranteed high scrap reward. I think we get two shots here. Yeah, with the flak, we do get two times the hits, too. Mm. I don't think we're going to use the Glade Beam on this run, though. It's a very cool drop. Surrender is not an option. Enemy FTL charging, don't. Jump imminent. Dang it, they're going to get away. Okay, well, my, my ploy failed. Yikes. This one's a border. So the reason we're going to keep the flax over the glade beam is with level 3 hacking, I can do two times the flak firing, um, where the glade beam is not going to one-shot the flagship. Uh, congratulations, Steven. You're the new owner of an NG bomber. Congratulations. What I should have done on that previous vessel was fired in the shield room, because if I would have damaged two separate rooms, they would not have gone back to the piloting. But I did indeed do that. Now we know. 
I don't need any repairs, thanks. Go look. Second time in a row we found the rebel ship. Alright, so I'm gonna hack the med bay here. I'm also gonna board into the shield room. Okay, I goofed. Fine. We be goofing. That should be uh, more than adequate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Alright, I got 285 scrap on hand. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the drone control power. I'm gonna round out my power bars. I'm gonna buy a value point in weapons. I'm going to buy nothing else for now. Holy guacamole, Mutter, thanks for 99 months. It was back-to-back -back 99 months subscriptions. That is incredible. Well, to the last stand we go. Let's see what our sector looks like. Okay, not too bad. Looks like we're not getting a repair station. So our drone recovery arm pays off here. All right, before we head into this eighth and final sector on this Manus B run, feeling pretty good about this one. Just going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do all those same things as well. Return momentarily to continue this run of FTL. Uh, thanks for your patience during this very brief intermission. Return momentarily to hopefully finish this out with a win. Look, oh, the Bebe's playing with her own tail. How, how glorious. Enjoy that corner kitty during our short break.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Hope you enjoyed all that kitty shenanigan during the break. I sure did. Alright, let's go ahead and start heading towards the base here. Uh, functional upgrades is really eight engines and maybe another drone power. But we are looking very good on power at the moment. Yeah, eight engines is really it right now. Investigate, communicate peacefully. I think I would much rather have a engineer than a human right now. does weaken our boarding setup a little bit, but we're not going to be boarding the flagship. Okay. I get scared in these type of situations because if the missile sneaks through somehow and we take damage, I can't repair that. That's bothersome. That almost hit. Okay, swing and a miss. Can I fire these before they cloak? Let's find out. We should be able to. Yes. Ethan's drone is thus far slaying it. Please hit. Thank you. Very nice. And we have enough to buy eight engines. I'm just going to do that right now. So now with backup battery, we can have both of our drones online, and we can have level three hacking. Beautiful. I also have a little bit of time to play around here. Let me go here. Yo, Andre versus World. Thanks for 23 months. Thank you so much. All right, my first priority here is to disable weapons, and we'll go from there. Not taking any damage or any more damage is the name of the game currently. The difference between getting a boarding reward here and a regular reward doesn't really matter. All about not taking more damage. Okay, they still got a med bay for now. I'm going to board into shields. Okay, I'm going to go over here. going to fight him in the med bay. Oh, there's another guy in the med bay. All right, then. What's up, guys? It's only level one. One of them died, right? Two fully trained manas can easily chunk down a level one med bay. Easily. Six fuel, 73 scrap. Feels nice. Interesting strategy, Fatal Hobo. That's a nice bit of management. Ooh, store. I like stores. I like stores. Um, 
Um, can I make it to Vulcan? I don't think so. If I sold a flak for 32, sold battery charger for 20. Uh, that's 52 more. No, it's not. It's not quite good enough. I would consider uh, Vulcan here. What I am going to do, though, is pick up a second combat drone for uh, Phase 3. And Phase 2, for that matter. We're going to use Defense Drone on Phase 1, and then we're going to swap in the combat drone. And I'm going to buy... Value Point here. And... Level 2 Sensors. Level 2 Sensors are not required. We're going to have crew on systems. You go here. Looks good. You know, I'm going to sell battery charger because at this point, it's just not going to make a functional difference. I'm just going to save here and buy, like, another value drone. Okay. Also going to take this jump, because we can. Prepare to fight. Alright, so on this ship, I'm going to hack Medbay. Going to depower. I get these crew back in here. And a repower. So the goal here is not to actually use the medbay uh, hack. The goal is to get all four of them in this room and then lock the door. Go ahead and do a level three hack now. This way, you don't even try to run in there. All right, time to set up for the flagship fight now. I should just do this now and go for like a rapid kill. No, I think defense drone on phase one is going to be quite good. Let's put these crew in systems. That'll do. There's no boarding happening here. Hmm. I'm going to buy this. Huh. You know, with eight engines powered, let's go in on this. Go. All right, we're at mercy of where this lands. Oh no, anything but the sensors, sir. Mercy. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna put power in here. I'm gonna put temporary power in these, in these. And I'm gonna go for a shield hack, which is, honestly, maybe not as good as the double flak folly. 
but it does disrupt the crew a lot, and we have double combat drone, which makes this pretty freaking good. All right, so I'm going to fire out my flax, and then right before they arrive, I'm going to start my hack. We're going to get two flak volleys off this way. That is a lot of fire. That manus will not handle that. Looks good. Yeah. There we go. Not much crew kill there, but it was nice. It was quick. Double combat drone, every time I use it, I continue to be impressed by how effective the system is. Yo, Blue Savior, thanks for 23 months. One more for two years indeed. Thank you so much for that continued support. Really, this streaming community is a collaborative effort. Couldn't do it without y'all. Thank you all for making this a one-of-a-kind place online to improve at and enjoy video games other people. Excellent. Okay, I guess I'll jump to the store and then uh, repair. I'm also not going to be using the defense drone again, so let's sell it. I can actually sell drone recovery arm here too. We only got two fights left. Now let's keep that just in case something goes very, very wrong, which is unlikely but possible. Okay, here we go. Same dealio here. Oh, my hacking part got hit, dang. Or did it? It did? Getting this down before the lasers? No. Almost, though. Drone phase barely began before we had the kill there. Well, that went good. Oh, glad you're able to find a game you enjoy because of the stream prop app. Awesome to hear. Okay, phase three has mind control and boarding, so this could get a little bit spicy. But we do have um, a very effective setup for stripping and then killing the Zoltan shield. No doubt about it. That's a pretty good place to be mind controlled at. Okay, these guys are going to try to go towards the um, hacking room to fight him in here. Abandon for a second. Battery's on fire. Hacking also got a little bit wrecked there. I may just jump from this. We'll see how it goes.
Um, you know what? Let's just reset at the base. This is why we left the spot. We'll just jump back, uh, re reset, replenish, and go again. This time they will board with four less crew, so should be good. Okay, we're going to try phase three one more time. Yeah, FTL is on iOS only. Or tablet only, to be more correct. Already down, beautiful. Here we go. Fire there is no big deal. I really don't care about that. Let's fire our flak here. Let's begin our hack now. Dude, this uh, beefed up NG is uh, killing my rock. As soon as the shields are down, they're so done. So done. There's just no stopping the combat drones now. GG, Manus B victory. I think that was a pretty high scoring run, probably high 6,000s. Let's do some dapper time and we'll take some guesses. All right, I'm going to say 6,500 is my guess. All right, let's check it out. 5,900, that is much lower than I thought. Why is it so low? Why was that so low? I feel like this was better than our previous run. What? A little confused on that one, but a win is a win. Yeah, the uh, last one we did, I thought, was... Oh, it's 53. That's why. It was last run. Didn't feel like low uh, ships defeated. 
Anyways, a win's a win. Let's go back to the hangar here real quick. We have three ships remaining on the first 28 victories of the FTL 101. We have NGB, Federation B, Lanius B. We have a very tough ship in NGB. I'd say Federation B is pretty medium style. And Lanius B is extremely powerful. We got like a really good ship, a medium ship, and a tough ship left. Well, alas, that's going to have to uh, wait here for just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to load up uh, Spelunky 2 now. We're going to do the daily run and beyond. This daily will also come with a wager. If you'd like to wager some of your uh, channel points, you'll be able to do so here on this next segment. Give me just a moment to load it up and I'll get the prediction started. Right, we're going to pick our adventurer for today. That adventurer is definitely going to be Jay, my man. All right, let me get this prediction started. Uh, the question for today's prediction will be very simple. Will the PC daily make it to Cosmic Ocean or nah? You can get to that prediction by clicking the pop that just happened in chat or clicking on the points button bottom left on browser and on mobile devices. All right, before we go any further here, after that very long and fun run of FTL, it's going to stand and stretch real fast while you guys get some of your predictions. And we'll just turn a couple minutes here to kick off the Spelunky 2 daily and do enjoy that corner kitty. Top right there. All right, good luck to all those that wager. We'll be back in just a second to kick this thing off. Adreno, thanks for 79 months and that prime continuation. My pleasure, man. Here we go.
Alrighty, we have returned. Let's see where this prediction is at. Uh, okay, I pressed a button. One sec. Back to the dashboard we go. Okay, three and a half minutes remaining at prediction. In. About even here with about uh, 1.5 million points in the pool. Not a bad submission. All right, y'all got three minutes left to get your predictions in. You can find this penguin. It's right here. Out of my way. I got penguins to get. Gonna put that penguin in the hole. Gonna go to that main menu, and we're starting the Spelunky 2 daily right now. Well, whether you believe or you doubt, good luck to all those that wager here. I'm sure we'll have a good time regardless. Huh. You fell down. Okay, bombs are good. Can I reach that? Looks like yes. Hold on. Uh, hang out down there, pepperoni. Just looking. Did it all for five hundo. there for a moment get another one of these um i don't think there's going to be anything substantial back there uh, i am not tantonic i have not participated in any steam uh summer or winter sale for over five years now hope you guys enjoy the deals and all but i'm pretty picky about games Not buying something I'm not going to play just because it's on sale. Okay, there's a second turkey. I mean, are we are we turkey timing right now? Seems like the right thing to do. What's in here? Yo, nice to know Moon. Uh, Hollow Knight looks like a great game. May get around to that one eventually. I'm uh, not the biggest Metroidvania fan, but it sure is a pretty game. All right, what's in Turkeyville? Just cash buckaronis. Rip. It was worth a try. Could have been anything, even a jetpack. We choose to buy the pick here. I think I will. That might be, allow us to get to the Junkie this run. Certainly allow us to get a Percy here. Really? Alright. Let's try something real quick. I want to get this block right here. It doesn't look as possible. Make a hole for this guy, too. That guy's fine. 
Like, it feels like you should be able to do a jump off of that and get it. I guess not. I concede. Just looking. Okay, there is traffic. What a place for the key, man. It's like hiding. I think I see the area down there. So if we do manage to get... the key put into the the Ujot here... Get a pretty big gain off of that. You down. You down. I'm gonna take you. Let's go. There we go. Our timeout 103. Not bad. Not bad. Bless the run real quick. That should be the exit. We've got oodles of time here. Looking like we are going to make a jungle run. Nice. Hey, thanks for that great rain. Appreciate the good luck wishes. There was some good jimmage in here. Let's go. Oh, I didn't quite make it. Oh, you know what? That's okay. That's 5k I can live without. My kitty? Kitty, though? I'm not going to live without my kitty. I love kitties too much for that. Come on, Poochie. Let's go. 45 Gs already? Jay, the master of efficiency over here. Look at all this gym right here. Gotta have it. Don't got to, but I want to. And drop that down there for now. It's good enough. Where's my dude at? I don't really care about this guy unearthing gems and stuff. We've already done a fantastic job of making that happen. Get him? Got him. Good. Let's go ahead and take this again. We're in a minute 17, making better time than I would have hoped here. Sorry, Poochie. You go down there. Looking good, kid.
We have gotten an incredible amount of value out of this Matic. Uh, oh, that was really stupid. Let's not do that. I almost got face punched. All right, we got like maximum value out of that Matic. 63,000 going in the jungle, hot dog. Let's get 10 pushups in there, Jay. Good job, good job, let's go. Yo, Wizard, thanks for 10 months, man. Appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Oh yeah, we can go right up to Turkey Town here, can't we? Well, I definitely can afford Turkey Town, and maybe I'll just do that for the HP. All right, that's our pace right there. Feels good, man. Wow, I, I messed that up, but I lived. All right, I don't feel like there's going to be a shrine here. I want there to be. So, uh, how far away can you smell a turkey dinner from? I think about 30 yards? You promise? You get pretty mad and people blow up your turkeys. I mean, I would never cook your turkeys, sir. I wouldn't. How dare you accuse me of that? What do you mean why am I asking that question? I bought these turkeys, I'll do what I want. And you have a good day, sir. Okay, this is not where I want to cook turkeys, though. Cook them right here. I don't have shoes for the other area. Triplicate turkey dinner. The re turk turk turkey ing. Get off me. I put that down right there. Uh, excuse me. 140. Oh, I did that. I did that. Hold up. Hold up. Percy, we got a bit of a problem. Now, there certainly was a little more money to get this uh, this level, but I didn't die, so that's good. Yo, here we go. Okay, there's one sacrifice, dude. Okay, that's a bear trap right in front of your store, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, I got some work to do. Let's get to it. Butterdum bum bum. Butterdum bum butterdum. Good. Bow get. Okay, let's figure out what's going on over here. Um, I, again, I don't have shoes, so let's do that. That. Even get this guy back to the shrine alive. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, I have officially three minutes now before the ghost shows up. Okay, 
We have not located Sister here. Okay, that guy can come back, but he's not going to make it alive. There's no way. Buy those, thanks. Where was Sister at? Oh, she back here. Okay, well... How do I do this without pissing off the shopkeep? I gotta go back and around. I also really don't see where the damsel is. I hear it. I heard ya. Okay, time for even more pep stepping. There she is. So... Right here will be fine. Barely outside the vault perimeter. Down to two minutes now. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Gucci back here. Oh, man. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and give up on that sacrifice happening the way I want because it's not going to. We got a few points on the shrine. We're going to have to be happy with that. I'm not using my remaining ropes to get back up there. I won't. Almost immediate black market blippins. Okay. How? My legs! Here? Here? Is it up top? Right there. That's why I didn't use my ropes. Oh my god, stop. Man, it's going to be really hard to get back up there. Yeah, I heard kitty kitty. Ropes. Ropes, ropes, ropes. Oh, hell yeah. High quality sprong shoe and gloves. First you buy the box, then you shake it. What's in there? Web gun. Okay, then. Buy these two. Um, all right. Gonna buy Hadji real quick. Um, ow, dude. And then I'm gonna put this over here. I'll be back, okay? I'll be back. That goes there on the bottom shelf. Well, I did that twice. There's sister, good. I will right, we'll bring back the uh, the urn there. Certainly have not done my HP any favors here. Yeah, I gotta say, Duot's looking pretty tempting, if only to get uh, guaranteed Kapala and Jetty for that matter. Could have 
buy this. Um, I'm gonna buy spike shoes too. That's a good idea. Three thirty. Got plenty of time here. We can drop a uh, little kitty off at the end. Then we'll clean up. But I drop this guy down to that guy. Huh? There we go. Tasty and delicious. Great level, Jay. Excellent work, my man. Let's go. Let's go. Feel like there's going to be a shrine on this level. Maybe not, though. What in the heck is going on here? Okay, there's sister. I'm just going to use a bomb and a rope. So many bodies, no shrine. This is dumb. I'm going to do it anyways. Fine, I'll use a rope. I concede. What's up, Parsley? Huh? huh? I'm gonna take a little peeky over here. Nothing major. Alright, there's a witch doctor, no thanks. Bayot. All right, let's go. Aha. I don't know, this is feeling like an Olmec in the whole opportunity to me. Anything up top here? Probably not. One kitty cat, please. You know what time it is. Yo, Fawn Shizzle, thanks for 102 months, man. Yes, please. It is indeed time for Olmec in the Hole, everybody's favorite Polunky tradition. It's good, because it's a good old-fashioned good time right here. Make a big old hole, put an Olmec in it? Oh, yeah. Time to take that Olmec. Gonna put that Olmec right into the hole, and down it goes. Get 10 push ups in. Nice job, Jay. Good set. Yo, Sequoia, thanks for 38 months. Appreciate you.
All right, cool. 43,000 is nice. It gives enough for the uh, challenge as well. Man, I, I'm really... I'm tempted right now to go Duot. Still think I'm going to go Tidepool, though. Nah, let's do it, man. Let's go. This is our best chance at Kapala, and we'll also get a jetty if we complete Duot. We've got all the pieces for it. Get out of here with that, man. Checking for a shrine here, it's not a thing. Let's go. Oh, snap. That was whack. You feel a burst of excitement inside of you. Uh, what happened there was the... Um, sorry, I got words. I'll get to them eventually. Uh, what happened there was that the ghost urn got crushed by a thwomp, which was uh, placed very specifically in a way that that would happen. Is that a jetty in the wall, my dude? You know what? I'm going to keep the Ankh intact here. I'm going to go for the um, Chilin Skip. I usually don't do Chilin Skip, but um, I definitely understand how to. And this is certainly something that gets us there. So, do it. Keep our Ankh intact this way. Yeah, if the ghost urn gets broken, period, it's, um, ghost summon time. Here's that. I could have swore there was more urns over here. Yeah, plenty of rope here to do it, too. I've, I've seen it done, like, 50 times. I've done a couple Chilin skips, including a Vlad's myself. Uh, I haven't done the jetpack one, but I feel the jetpack Chilin skip is a lot more simplified. I very well may mess it up, but uh, feeling all right at this moment. Huh. Okay, it's just down there. Yeah, the main issue with sacrificing the crocmen is killing them without them uh, telefragging. One on the bottom, I could probably get there. Just wanted this right here. 
Let's see if we can pull this off here. Got two minutes left. Get jingled and jangled. Ah, swing and a miss. Strike him over here. All right, that did not work out the way I wanted. I'm just going to pass on getting the uh, goblet right here. Oh, man, another four room? Oh, dude. goof that. Alright, I just messed up both those kills. Let's just get out of here. A little bit richer for the experience. No, Typo definitely does not have guaranteed altar. What? There's a kitty cat right there, by the way. No, thank you. How do I avoid getting hit by this kitty cat? I'm gonna go straight down. Looking, just looking. Not quite. I heard the squish. You not dying, apparently. Help. I've been helped by myself. In here. So the way Crocman works is they have a teleport when they take damage. So what you do is you stick a bomb to them and then you whip them right before it explodes. That they the way they teleport with the bomb on them and then the explosion is past their immunity period. Well, that's 4-4. Four, four. Let's go. Maybe there'll be, a, like, a cool shrine here, huh? Huh. Triple in front of the door there, huh? That's a lot of mines. Think I will pass on the Yeti cave this time around. Seems pretty hazardous. Shrine. All right. Two mines on the shrine. Wow. Kapala get, finally. Quite the journey to get that one. Let's go. Yo to Sevra. Thanks for that tier 2 sub in 45 months. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Is it this way? No, it is not.
Let's go. Okay, we don't need to go in the urn room because we're attempting Sheila and Skip here. Ah, blah, blah. I get slammed by those, thanks. You hear the sounds of revelry. UFO scene. That was not a very smart bop. Um, I'd like one get out of here, please. go revel me reigns celebration Uh, it just means Madam Tusk exists on that level. Oh, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. Oh, no. GG. All right, this is going to be a little awkward. I'm going to try bubble skip. So I just tapped the button a little too much. Not bad for a first attempt. Actually looks okay. Or not. up here. That one doesn't look quite right. I know how to do this without um, without the bubble, too. I want to try this. Oh my god, there's poison bubbles. Why? There's crabs, that's why. That's a GG. Good attempt. We were about uh, less than a quarter second off of having that skip. I understand it better now what I have to do. No, no downward momentum. Twas a good run. We learned. Congratulations, doubters. Enjoy your sweet channel points. I'll take it. Oh, this isn't actually the daily we just did. Uh, we did yesterday's daily, apparently. That is fair. We'll save that one for tomorrow, though. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the really excellent stream today. Had an awesome time for show number 2,580 here. That is how we're going to conclude our show. Uh, as a reminder here, run three minutes worth of ads on the way out. The only ads I play for my entire broadcast. Just thanks so much for another great show. We'll be back at it tomorrow around noon Pacific for some more fun. Don't know what we'll be playing, but I'm sure it'll be a good time. Have a good one. Uh, RoboJosh, Swiss Chalet, Nevaneko, Flacco, uh, Skogrich, and all the rest. Soap Dish Nick, thanks for 44 months during that attempt as well. And we'll catch you again soon. See you tomorrow. Take her easy.